does come pretty close, doesn't it, Hunter? Audio's looking a bit loud. Hey, Rusty. Every time I have to click off of this screen, it, uh, it kind of freaks out a little bit. Rondi, how you doing? Take down the countdown timer. It's gonna kill all the music. Well, uh, there we go. Kind of randomly resizes the screen too, and every time I click off. So temperamental. Uh, okay. All right, let's watch the no doubt amazing introduction. This one is a cursed 3D version. You're still gonna be Grace. Oh, 
Or you can just relax and watch some delightful Gabriel Knight Curse 3D. Did two men with a trunk get off here by any chance? We? Oui? Which way did they go? That way, monsieur. Oh, where are we anyway? Guiza. France. Let me help you, monsieur. There is a taxi up front and a hotel nearby in Rennes le Chateau. Appreciate it. It's the French. Let's get into it. Okay, we we start in this beautiful 3D rendered environment. And this is kind of interesting. The view isn't tied to Gabriel Knight. You can pan the camera, take a look around the room without note. Um We've got this weird, like, point of interest camera thing going on. It's very strange. Oh, yeah, it's, it's extra jank. Kind okay, of a bushy thing, isn't it? And do a little focus thing. All right, what do you think of the couch game? Well, it ain't Ethan Allen. Not right now, thanks. I may not know art, but I like it. I'm sure you do, Game Night. Uh, okay, can't look at that, I guess. Kind of a big bed for little old me. You're a closet cop. <laughs> Who would wear a white suit in a boat? Who would wear a white suit, period? Oh, God. The, uh, the panning around, uh... Looks like an ad for wine. Okay. Oh, you can just hold the left mouse button. That looks like fun. Around. Except for the rowing part. White suit. That's the door to the bathroom. Maybe there'll be something useful in the bathroom. Oh, okay, we just phase through into the bathroom. Cool. Temple of the Porcelain God. For <laughs> that shot, yeah. Okay. Oh, can we... Don't need it. Okay, we can't take the toilet paper. Greatest either. invention since fire. Uh, okay, we can't look at the bath mat. Funny. I'd always heard the French didn't have those things. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh... What? Is this Saturday already? <laughs> Funny. I'd always heard the French didn't have those things. Uh, yes, yes, Gabe. Uh, what? Is this Saturday okay. already? That's still the shower. 
a daily supply of clean towels, reason number one for staying at a hotel. Can you take it? Uh, <laughs> that's a bit anal, isn't it? Okay. My hands are clean, Ma. Okay. All right, I guess there's nothing to do in here. Yeah, he talks very slowly. Let's see if there's anything in the drawers. Oh, there's nothing in there but dust bunnies. Okay, oh, that's there's nothing all, in there uh, but dust bunnies. That's all of that. Cool. Cool. Uh, so we have no idea why we're here or what we're doing here. Nice of them to provide a little office space. Not right now, thanks. Okay. Oh, is this a nice closet? Good thing I have all this stuff in my room. You never know when you'll need a dresser. Can you open it? Your basic wire hanger. Good thing Joan Crawford ain't around. Yeesh. Okay, we can take the hanger. Cool. Oh. What was that? Is that like a bit of tape or something? Masking tape. I don't have a damn thing with me. Or Gabriel Knight butt shot. All right. Uh, it's in our inventory. Oh, okay. We have a bunch of stuff in our inventory. My shot and Jaeger dagger. Looking at my passport picture, it's a wonder the U.S. ever let me go. Your basic Y hanger. Good thing Joan Crawford ain't around. It's a long piece of masking tape. Still sticky, too. Okay. A good writer never goes anywhere without his notepad. Why is his voice so goofy Prince in this one? Prince James's calling card. Prince James? What? Why do we have a calling card from Prince James? Okay. That key really comes in handy when I want to get into my room. The Schottenjäger Talisman. It's kind of like a lucky rabbit's foot, only big and heavy. I went back to my old tape recorder. That jewel mount was a pain to lug around. Grace has been working on our procedure for cases. She wants us to take fingerprints, use this new program called Sydney, and do all this sort of, you know, official crap so i don't think i'll record my conversations this time around but i might be able to find some more creative uses for my tape recorder okay uh all right we can look at it we don't get to do anything with it let's just pick up think masking tape I went back to my old tape recorder. Okay. That jewel mount was a pain to lug around. Hmm. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. We have to exit our inventory. Cool, cool. What is that? It looks like a safe. That wouldn't do much good. The door's locked. That wouldn't do much good. The door's locked. What is that? What is that? Have you never seen a safe, Gabriel? I guess the lock prevents anyone from coming in that way. Okay. I had to go and open it. 
That platform looks sturdy. Oh, it's a dumb waiter. That platform looks sturdy. That door must lead to the adjoining room. Okay. Can you get in? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Alright, so we can't go in it. Um got four out of nine hundred and sixty-five. I guess that's all we can do in here. I'm still on a quest to discover what the plot of this game is. Okay. Yep. It's a hotel room door, not mine, by the way. Uh, I don't even know who's in that room yet. Room numbers. That's handy. Mm. Cool table. Check out those lines. See? Now there's an artist who knows how sexy red umbrellas are. Hmm. I'm thinking I might abandon this one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know who's in that room yet. The uh, the 3D is just a little too cursed. Also, can we not little look at this? family in the grass? How domestic. Hmm. It's locked. Good thing I don't need any toilet paper. Okay. Oh, stairs. Is there anything over here? No? Let's go down the stairs, I guess. These uh, 3D environments really are something. Knight. Gabriel Knight. Yes, I know you're Gabriel Knight. All right. uh, Can we take this? Nope. Okay. I don't know what I just picked up. I wouldn't want to get greedy about it. Oh, they're little candies. Okay, we just took a candy. Gotcha. Flowers. Nice. <laughs> Sexy red umbrellas? Yes. Um... What's this? Buzzers for the hotel rooms. Gee, talk about high tech. I don't need to buzz anybody at the moment. I just play the second one again, yeah. Uh, okay. I guess we could talk to this guy. He must be the hotel receptionist. Don't think he was on duty when I came in last night. It's a black magic marker. It's a bell for getting someone's attention. Of course, I get attention without having to ask for it. <laughs> ah, you must be yep. Monsieur Knight in room 25. My name is Jean. If there's anything you need, I will be at your service most humbly. Uh, thanks. Feel his black marker. Oui, Monsieur Knight? I could, but maybe I should wait until Jean's elsewhere. Oh. I think that would annoy him. There's some kind of book on the desk. Would you like to inspect it? Okay, we can... Hmm, looks like these guests have all signed in within the last 24 hours. Hmm. 
Hmm, looks like these guests have all signed in within the last 24 hours. That's very weird to have the guest book right on the uh, desk like that. Uh, I guess we could talk to the hotel clerk. Uh, two men with a trunk? Rennes de la Chateau. Is there anything I should know about the town? Rennes le Chateau? Rennes le Chateau. We have a small town, but a rich history. I suggest Monsieur visit the Musée de oh Saunière. Boy. It's just down the road. Yeah, this is um, this game is extra cursed. The uh, the 3D is pretty pretty rough. Hmm. I'm gonna give it a chance though, in case it has some charm hidden somewhere. Say, Jean, have you seen two men with a large trunk around the hotel? Maybe, uh, checking in? No, monsieur, but most of the guests arrived last night, oui? And I was, excusez-moi, not on duty. We have a number of gentlemen staying at the hotel. As to their luggage, I cannot say. Oh, cool. Okay. Well, that's cheerful. Makes me feel right at home. this bones and a naked lady picture she has a certain naive barnyard charm should we call someone i should call prince james i think i have his number on me somewhere all right why don't we call Prince James? I'm not sure who to call. Oh my gosh. Alright. Mm -hmm. Inventory. Use the card. There we go. Oh dear. Hello, Stewart's residence. This is Gabriel Knight calling for Prince James. Yes, one yeah. moment please. Mm. Mr. Knight, what in God's name is- I know you must be frantic. Let me explain. Last night, someone came into the bedroom through the window and took your son. I followed them, but I couldn't catch up. They went to the train station and boarded a train for Toulouse. I believe they got out of a little place called Cuiza. I'm still trying to track what happened next. Okay, we're getting some Cuisa? plot here. Near Rennes le Chateau? Yes, you know it. Gabriel, I... Thank you very much for informing me. I, I must think for a moment, please. I'm afraid our investigation of the night visitors will have to be postponed. I'll send down some men to look into the kidnapping. Wait a minute. What makes you think the night visitors <laughs> I, I'm involved? tempted to agree, Jake. I don't have time to explain. Keep your eyes open until my men arrive, if you would. I'll send Miss Nakamura along. Oh, and naturally, your travel expenses and the fee we discussed will be taken care of. Oh, that's not important. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Perhaps I will call on you again when I have time for such matters. Good. Goodbye. Ooh. Yeah, this has none of the charm of the other two games. I can I can only hope the story um, the story will make up for it. Oh, there's someone someone in there. <laughs> I don't hear anything. Maybe he's got a long-winded telephone partner. Then again, maybe not. Heard someone raising the puzzles of this That'd one. be kind of rude. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> getting to them, yes. Oh? Oh, he's 
is walking away. We can uh, go steal his stuff. Uh, can I steal the guest book? I don't think they'd appreciate that. Okay. Uh, quickly, quickly, steal the marker. Yoink. <laughs> um, I'd rather use a payphone, thanks. I'd rather use the payphone than the free hotel phone? Madness. You're not a hotel guest. Uh, I'm going to be right back. Just one moment. Oh, I'll leave you with this uh, delightful close-up of Gabriel Knight's face. All about telephones in the hotel. Okay. Oh, got to take down that BRB timer. Um, hmm. <clears throat> so, one of the hotels I worked at had this kind of uh, janky uh, automated um, phone management thing um, from like the early 2000s, I would guess. And. Um, you could like call different rooms, you could program wake up calls on it, all that kind of stuff. Um, and one of the one of the functions it had is it would the phone thing would like make a ton of noise if someone called 911 so that we would you know know there's some kind of emergency going on. Um, 
Now, a slight issue is we ha the one of the rooms in the hotel was room 911, so 911. Uh, and frequently, when guests would try, say they were, you know, guests could call each other in their rooms, uh, say they wanted to call room 911, they would end up calling the police or calling uh, emergency services. Uh, and it would then make all the phones on the front desk explode in a bunch of noise. Uh, because, oh no, someone called 911, so there's an emergency. <laughs> um, and, um, yeah, it was, it was extremely, uh, it was extremely annoying when it happened. Um, and we didn't, I can't remember, there was like a trick to turn it off. Um, but we, uh... No one ever told me how to turn it off, so it went off one time and I, I struggled for like 10 minutes to turn the thing off until I randomly pushed the right button to turn <laughs> turn off the alarm noise. Uh, good times. Um, oh, we can't read the paper. Yeah, here we go again. Shouldn't that painting be in the dining room? Uh, no, that would make too much sense. Uh, that would require knowing how to use the uh, the system from like early two thousands. Um. Okay. The hotels went out if of business. That's what though. I think it is. I can die a happy man. Oh, is he just auto going over to the coffee? Oh, great. Hey, how about some coffee out here, Mayor C? Oh, God. Horrible. Thanks, buddy. Gabriel Knight. Wanker. Mosley? Is that you? <laughs> oh boy. No, it's my evil twin. What the hell are you doing here, Knight? What am I doing here? What are you doing here? I'm, uh, I'm on vacation. I'm here with the uh, <clears throat> tour group. What kind of tour group? You know, the touring kind. And you guys came here? Well, it's kind of special, um... It's a special treasure hunting tour group. Treasure? What treasure? Look, read the brochures, okay? I'm not the freaking tour guide. Jeez, nice to see you too. So what are you doing here again? Um, I came to see you. What? Sure, I called your <laughs> number at the park. Right, of course. I forgot I mentioned it. Well, <laughs> uh, it's great to see you, Great. Y yeah. If you want to join a tour, you'll have to talk to Madeline uh, Boothane. She's around here somewhere. And uh, come up to the room later, would you? Uh, I'm in room 33. Sure. And uh, thanks for surprising me, old pal. Uh, no problem. Why are they both being so weird? Can we harass Mosley some It probably more? wouldn't make any more sense the second time around. Maybe I should wait till we're alone. Alright. Uh, so we've encountered Mosley. Uh, uh, can we take a creamer? We can! That will surely be useful later. Don't need it. Don't need Plates that. and stuff. Packages of maple syrup. Oh, it's maple syrup. Okay. Um, and eat one? No thanks. <laughs> Why do they have packages of maple syrup? It's very strange. It's useless without actual coffee in it. Okay. Or sells a cup of coffee. There we go. We are in France. Have more? It's useless without actual All coffee right. in it. How much coffee can we make uh, Gabriel Knight drink? Hey, Dusty. 
We're playing an incredibly cursed 3D adventure game. It looks like we can make him drink coffee infinitely. Let's do it again. Heart <laughs> attack percent. <laughs> Will he do it again? Wow. Yeah, okay. You can just make him drink coffee infinitely. Cool. It's the best cup of coffee I've ever had. Um, it's probably in uh, Paris and on like a cafe, it was, which is extremely touristy. But um, I had a cafe au lait on, in a, a Paris cafe. It what was, would I uh, want with pottery? It was a great, it was really nice. Pottery? Was What's up with that? It's a great way to start the day. And you're sure I know the follow-up question? I don't know the follow-up question, actually. She's kind of cute, but what do you suppose he's doing exactly? Okay. Oh, what's the worst cup of, cup of coffee I've ever had? Um, it would have to be a uh, some gas station coffee on the highway in the States. I was, I was, uh, I think I was driving back from Boston or something, and uh, stopped for gas and figured, oh, why not? I'll try this. I'll try. I'll roll the dice. Try this gas station coffee, uh, and it was really terrible. Um, just like extremely acidic. It was probably pretty stale. Why would Can I we just go in? The, you don't want to go in the kitchen? All right. Uh, what room did Mosley say he was in? It probably wouldn't make any more sense the second time around. Maybe I should wait till we're alone. Maybe I should give him... I don't think I want to show that to him. No, we don't want to show him a packet of maple syrup? Fine. 33, that's what it was. Yeah. Alright, well, let's, let's go try to break into Mosley's hotel room. So we very slowly walk out of here. Let's go upstairs. This seems like a tiny hotel. Got like the little guest room. Oh, the little uh, dining area, and then only two floors. Yeah, this would be a minuscule hotel. Uh, twenty-five, thirty-three. There's Mosley's room. Oh, gross! Mosley's room doesn't even have any windows. Yeah, it's just entirely on the inside of the hotel. That's pretty grim. Uh, let's knock on the door. Windowless hotel? Yeah, like in the middle of the building. <laughs> Unless there's like a courtyard in there somewhere? Uh, surprise, Mosley's not there. Um... Room numbers. That's handy. Of course, it's like not the cheapest room yet. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what room number. Which room was ours? Does it say on the key? That key really comes in handy when I want to get into my room. Yeah, that, that's great. Thank you. Uh, room 25. Okay. So now we know which room is ours. Let's head back downstairs. Oh, welcome, Merrick. We get to uh, join in for an incredibly cursed uh, 3D um, adventure game. Can we talk to this guy? Hey, how you doing? My name is Knight, Gabriel Knight. And I am Emilio Baza. Emilio. An Italian. Interesting name. Where are you from, anyway? The Middle East, originally. Oh. Ah. Hey, you with that tour group by any chance? I am. Yes. Yes, I am. Uh, what? Treasure? Are you a treasure hunter, Emilio? I suppose I am, but 
Riches can be measured in many ways. Well, that's true enough. So what do you think the treasure is? <laughs> oh, I would not presume to say, Mr. Knight. At least, not out loud. Nice place, huh? Did you get in last night? Yes. Not too late, I hope. Not late, no. Did you drive in? A friend dropped me off. I'm not crazy about flying and owning a vehicle. <laughs> Such a nuisance. I don't have anything else to say to him. Okay. Would you like some maple syrup? I don't think syrup? I want to show that to him. No? Okay. Um... I don't have anything else to say to him. Okay. His name's Emilio Baza. Okay. His name's uh, gotcha. Emilio Baza. Right. All right. Uh... Go look out the window, I guess. The window overlooks the parking lot. That's pleasant. <laughs> I don't think I want to show that to him. I don't want to give him any maple syrup. All right. Uh, I guess we could go outside. Oh God. <laughs> Let's Don't go. mind if I do. Oh boy. Uh, we talked to this person. Yeah, we finished uh, Sins of the Father. Uh, I, was it last night? No, uh, Friday night. Just having a smoke, hacking a dart. Tour group. Well, hi. You must be Madeline Boothain. Perhaps. Who are you? <laughs> Gabriel Knight. Saxon. You know Mosley from your uh. tour? We go way back. Uh -huh. I should have recognized the accent. What accent? <laughs> Never mind. So, you know Monsieur Mosley? Oh, yeah. And I was wondering how much you'd charge me to, you know, kind of hang with the group, given that I'm paying for my own hotel and all. Two thousand francs. <laughs> kind of steep, isn't it? This is the price of success. Do you wish to find the treasure or not? I'll think about it. Man. Um. See what we can. Hey there, Dice there. See what we can learn about the uh, so, treasure. So, you're the expert, right? What's your theory about the treasure of Ren Le Chateau? I leave that to my clients. It is better that way, no? When did y'all get in? Yeah, it's, it's really, really, Late. really ugly. No. Why do you ask? Just curious how long it took. You drove it? Yes, from Toulouse. It's about uh, two hours. Uh, not really. Maybe it's, maybe it's Southerners do. So what's this tour group <laughs> do anyway? I guide my clients through the facts of the mystery and show them the important locations. From there, they can draw their own conclusions. Yeah. Well, how come you're not guiding them right now? There is a lot to absorb in the town itself, Monsieur Knight. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. will be the first guided lecture. Oh, well, I'll still think about it. All right. Uh... Who all came in the van? Most of the group flew into Toulouse. John Wilkes, Lady Howard, Miss Styles, and your friend, mostly. Messieurs Bukkelly and Baza made their own arrangements. Okay. Um, anything else we can harass her about? I Maybe don't she want wants some that to her. maple syrup? No. Oh, there's a rooster back there. Must not be a lot of cats around here. <laughs> we can get a zoom. We can zoom in on the rooster. Oh no! I clicked off the screen. Right. Uh, well, gee, I don't need a live chicken at the moment. No. Okay. You want to think about it? Ooh, reminds me of the present the voodoo group left me. Oh, cool. Yuck. Gabriel Knight one callback. Uh, I can't 
control the y-axis. I the like way. a woman who keeps her equipment in good shape. Wow. Ah, gross. Why are you so gross? This game, uh, Gabriel Knight. I think he's even worse than in um, than in one. Guess he's getting some fresh air. Yes, that's true. Mosley is in it as well. It's just Tim Curry. Hmm, so much for that idea. Oh, he doesn't want to talk to us. No thanks. No? Okay. Well, let's go wander around the town, I guess. Hotel is full. Uh, okay. They did say to go check out the church, so I guess we could go check out the church. I think they had gave they had uh, Tim Curry be Gabriel Knight in the first game, didn't they? Oh, ah, god damn it! So I'm I am using DX Wine to play this, as it uh, this game uh, hates tabbing out of the window. Uh... Nope, those don't work together. All right, let's go into the church. It's Jesus and John the Baptist. They look dusty. He falls again, or something. Father O'Brien would be ashamed at my memory. Hmm. From the dark depths of my early religious training, I seem to remember something about Veronica and a veil. Sermon on the Mount, maybe? Okay. That's a confessional, but it looks like it hasn't been used since Vatican II. I don't think they're still taking customers. No? Okay. Par se signe to le vaincre. Whatever the hell that means. Par se signe to le vaincre. By the sign, uh, you will defeat him, and it's the devil. Nothing like a little satanic imagery to make a church feel cozy. Mm. Man, I miss the... Uh, I miss the Cajun lady from... Saint uh, Germain. Never heard of her. From what? Maybe she's the saint of relativity. Get it? Germain? Relative? <laughs> Jesus and some women. Magdalene's probably one of them. Yeah, that's too bad. Still on the way to the crucifixion. I would have preferred um, the kind of like pixely style they had in one. Jesus carrying the cross. Jesus falls for the first time. They didn't wear much in those days, didn't they? Saint Anthony the Hermit. There's a fun-loving guy. He's being crucified. The soldiers take Jesus' clothes and throw dice for him. I remember that one. These really remind me of Gran. I should give her a call as soon as we get back to Riddersburg. Yeah, I guess they, um... I mean, I, at the time, this probably Saint would have been like, Roach. oh my god, nice look at these legs. graphics. Maybe he's the patron saint of Gillette. <laughs> Never mind. I never did like these things, even way back when. Creeps me out. Then again, I suppose that's the point. He's removed from the cross. Stained glass. It's a bit too Victorian for my taste, but Gracie loves the stuff. Mary Magdalene. 
What a babe, huh? Jeez. Keep it in your pants, Gabe. Uh, what's this? They got brochures, but they're in French. I don't Wanna read take French. <laughs> hey, I got enough sins already. Thanks. <laughs> There are those four angels again. Uh, Saint Antoine's back. There are those four angels again. Okay, all Saint Anthony. Saint Anthony of Padua. And there's a kid coming out of a book. Ah, Scary. Padua. Okay, it's not Almost back. enough to make you never pick up a book again. Mary Magdalene in some kind of a cave. A skull, a book, and a cross made from a tree with living branches. Huh. Uh, okay, we can't go in behind there. Ooh, a door. It's locked. Hmm. It's a big pulpit kind of a thing. Before 3D graphics got really expensive. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Should we knock? I'm not even sure where that door leads. Okay. Mm -hmm. right, let's get out of here. Can't go over that way. Okay, nothing to say about the lantern. Yep, that house has a door, all right. I have no idea who lives there, but they probably have no interest in meeting me. Well, yes, I know it's hard to believe, but, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they're French. <laughs> okay. Uh... Nothing there. Bunch of more random houses. Oh, a dog. A black cat. Oh, it's a cat. How appropriate. Pick up the cat. <laughs> you try to share a little human kindness, and what does it get you? Yeah, it's true. You can you can count the polygons on uh, on Gabe's face. I mean, it looks a bit better than uh, uh, like Golden Eye for the N sixty four. I'd say. Break in. Or it's padlocked. We... Ah. Okay, can we just? Break I don't in? think I need to bust my way into that shed. It's probably just full of spider webs. The cat ran through there. Pretty tight squeeze, too. I don't know why I want this cat. Maybe the cat wants some nope, maple syrup. those don't work together. No? Okay. That looks like a private home. Okay. That looks like a private home. I don't want to look too hard. I might see something embarrassing in there. Cats don't taste sweet, really. That looks like a private home. That is a new information for me. I didn't know that. Okay, so that was the church. Yeah, we're we're doing Gabriel Knight uh, three. Quiet place. People don't even open their windows. Hmm. What's this? They're open all day. Uh. 
Yeah, there's no Plinky Plonky of progress either. Which is very uh, unfortunate. You can see her score up here though. 28 out of 200, uh, 965, or is that 265? Objet trouvé, lost items. It looks like a lost and found box. Anything in there? It's not really my style. Looks more like something Mosley would wear. Uh, well, what is it? Somebody lost a hat. It's just more than the beast within, yeah. Um. Hey, they actually have souvenirs for sale. I'm sure Gracie will be all over it oh. if and when she gets here. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> hey, they actually have souvenirs for sale. I'm sure Gracie will be all over it if and when she gets here. Uh, okay, we can't take any of this stuff, I guess. Oh, there's a gray man here. I'm assuming she works here. Oh, that's a woman? Jeez. Okay. Uh, let's talk to her. Ah, how are you? You run this place? Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. The name's Knight. Very well. And you are? Madame Girard. Is there something I can help you with? There might be. Uh, baby? Have you heard a baby crying in the past 24 hours? I have three grandchildren. What do you think? <laughs> um... Is there anything special I should know about the town? The displays will tell you the history of Rennes Le Chateau. All right. Say, were you around last night? I was at home, monsieur. Oh. You didn't happen to see anyone coming into town, did you? Late? Around 11? I am well asleep by then. The early bird catches the worm, you know. <laughs> yeah. And what an incentive that is, too. Yeah, you've got, like, the set camera angles. <laughs> oh, yeah, Spacebar does recenter. All right. That's nice. Nope, is this a nice view? The architects weren't too crazy about light, were they? No, that's not a nice view. Let's go... Oh boy, it's Jake's favorite. It's a museum tour. <laughs> Adam and Eve. I never liked that story. Can you imagine there being only one woman on the entire planet? Oh, God. Jeez. These panels tell the history of the Ren Le Chateau area. Um. Oh no, I have to try to read that. It's tiny. Uh. Okay. Well, maybe it's not that important. It's probably vital for progress. These panels tell the history of the Rennes Le Chateau area. Um, perhaps an oak. Oh, it's so hard to read. So I have this in windowed mode, so I can stream it. Maybe I can see it on the uh, the main screen, on the OBS screen. Yeah, okay, I can see it better there. The Cathars, perhaps, is an outgrowth of the region's historical independence in the late 12th century. The L Languedoc became the hotbed for a group of called the Cathars. The Cathars were nominally Christians, but their theology was considered heretical by the Catholic Church. The Pope arranged the Albi Albigensian Crusade in 1207, in which the Cathars were slaughtered. Men, women, and children. The region never fully recovered. All right, let's see. Maybe These could... panels tell the history of the Rennes Le Chateau area. 
Um, Knights Templar, oh, the Knights Templar. Although the Templars were uh, inaugurated in Jerusalem in what, 1118, several of the key founders came from the Languedoc, including Hugh de Pain, Count of Champagne. The temple continued its association with the region, establishing several bases here. Many high-ranking Templars came from Cathar families, including Bertrand de Blanchefort, Fourth Templar Grand Master. The Knights Templar were eventually accused of heresy. A general arrest occurred in 1307. A general, uh, the group was disbanded, and all that resisted were burnt at the stake. Oh dear. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully we don't actually need to do this because I'm not going to read all of these. Uh, um. Oh, we can actually kind of read them from here. Hmm. Oh, is this a cutscene? My goodness, Estelle, look at this. It's the sacred number of Ra. You're right, Lily. And look, it says Virgo, Isis, and Trinus et Unus. Three or one, isn't it? Or am I conjugating badly? Oh, I'm afraid I never had Latin. Well, I think I'm right. Do you suppose they're referring to Nat Horus and Osiris? Um, they could be referring to God, Jesus, uh, and the Holy Ghost. Couldn't they? Don't be stupid. Anyway, Dr. <laughs> Wen says it's all the same thing. Or was that Mary, God, and Jesus? Look at that shape. Wasn't there something like that in Dr. Wen's sacred geometry? Shh! Do you want to give everything away? Oh, sorry. Uh, if I'm looking for tips, I will, uh, I will ask. Until then, I rather blunder my way through on my own. Uh, okay, let's say hello to the two British ladies. Good morning, ladies. Look, Estelle, the gentleman has come over to introduce himself. Isn't that charming? Well, I try. The name's <laughs> Knight. Gabriel Knight. Yes. How do you do, Mr. Knight? I'm Estelle Stiles, and this is Lady Lily Howard. Renowned on stage and screen. And now you're thinking, how modest, how petite, and of course, I am Lily. Hey there, Tester. Are you with the tour group? He's a sly one, Estelle. Yes, Mr. Knight, we are. What about you, dear boy? I thought we'd met everyone this morning. Oh, I'm, uh, oh, I'm a friend of Mosley's. Ah, well. <laughs> All right, the game is is uh, continue is charming me despite the hideous 3D 3D graphics. Are you all here looking for the treasure? Well, we can hardly deny it since we're on the tour. But it's not as though we have a theory, Mr. Knight. Estelle, you're so subtle. Oh, yeah? You got a theory? Well, let me hear it. Is that a note of ridicule, I hear? Can it be? No, I didn't. Do you think, perhaps, that only men can have <laughs> <Boy>. valid theories? <laughs> hardly. <laughs> it's just the whole idea of a... Lily. Are we to take it that you yourself have no theory, sir? About the treasure? Um, no, I don't. Methinks he doth protest too much. It's possible. Okay, can we get anything I think up? I've had enough of Lady Howard for the moment. Uh, uh would you like some maple syrup? No. Okay. Uh... Lady Howard and Estelle Stiles, they're Brits, not to mention a little whacked. Uh, I have played... Oh, which one was it on the GameCube? I played one of the ones on the GameCube. Uh, hey, but that's kind of looks like me. Except for the dress part. Can we play Resident Evil 2? I mean, I don't think I've ever played any of them on stream. A bunch of old documents in French. Be still, my heart. 
Hey, that demon kind of looks like the one in the church. Can we get a... No, we can't inspect closer. It's a letter in French. I think he's the guy the museum's named after, Sonier. All right. Mm. Oh? I'm not sure I'd want that thing between my legs. Looks dangerous. <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Hey, that demon kind of looks like the one in the church. Let's see, what does it say? Uh, I can't read it. No, oh, game! Alright, All right, we're back. Oh, that reminds me. I should be making saves. Uh, how do I make a save? Save. Excellent. Yeah, we gotta save all this incredible progress we've made. <laughs> yes. Um, so I, I played through Gabriel Knight, uh, The Beast Within, and uh, I foolishly made no saves um, and lost like six and a half hours of progress, something like that, because I tried to play it all in one shot. And um, so then I have to replay the whole game. Uh, to get back to where I was. Um, and then and then I came back and finished the game. It took me about 16 hours, and I played it all in one day. Yeah, I was in the museum uh, in... I think it was the second Ludwig Museum. They crashed there. <laughs> Um, yeah, the, the museum with the lady in it, uh, the, the game was crashing there a lot. Too much Ludwig. Maybe there wasn't enough Ludwig, Jake. You, you miss the, uh, you miss seeing the ghost of Ludwig, which was a pretty amazing part of the, uh, of the game. Oh, okay. So, where did Saunier get his money from? If I could answer that, monsieur, do you think I'd be sitting here? <laughs> There's supposed to be some kind of treasure buried around here, right? Yes, that is the theory. Well, what kind of treasure is it? That is part of the mystery, monsieur. Hmm. Okay. So, what are some of the possible treasures? Gold stores of the Romans, the fabulous wealth of the Visigoths, which was never found, the fabulous wealth of the Merovingians, which was never found, or it could be the fabulous wealth of the Cathars, which... Yeah, I gotcha. The Templars too, right? But of course, they had more fabulous wealth than anyone. I wonder if Why she's the you same. Think that French pig dog of a king turned on them. Um, aren't you French in this region? Well, France thinks so. <laughs> um, her voice sounds like the uh, the old lady in Gabriel Knight One. I wonder if they got the same voice actor. I actually have no idea where we are here. Maybe we're in Breton. I don't Any know. other theories on the possible treasure? Well. The Romans did destroy the Temple of Jerusalem, stole sacred Hebrew artifacts. Perhaps it is the lost treasure of Jerusalem that is buried around here. And then, um... there is this one theory. Yes? Ah, never mind. I am a good Catholic woman myself. Why don't you read up on the subject if you are so very interested? I just don't, I've never heard of this particular town. Uh, was it like Rennes-le-Chateau, something like that? 
Uh, I'm not familiar with it. Okay. Hey, they actually have souvenirs for sale. I'm sure Gracie will be all over it if and when she I do gets quite here. like France, though. Uh, I've only ever been to Paris. Um, but I thought Paris was, was very nice. It's obviously a very touristy place, but... Oh, yeah, I'm sure it's a real place. I just, uh, I don't know... Is Rennes le Chateau in... in... Bretagne? I, I have no idea what part of France it's in. That looks like a private home. Hmm. Le Musée de Sonnière. So, where are we going here? Oh, there's a nice fountain. What's this? Villa Bethania. Personal residence constructed by Sonier. He's the one who got rich and started the rumors about a treasure. Okay. Villa Bethania. Personal okay. residence constructed by Sonier. He's the one who got rich and started the rumors about a treasure. It's very far south. Okay. It says, keep out, more or less. This is private property. Well, I'm sure they the don't mean Gabriel says, at night. Do not enter. I'd at least need a reason to ignore it. Ah, oh, come on, Gabriel Knight. Where's your uh, NC Drew Adventures? Adventure Spirit. Uh, some kind of tower? Alright. He, he has not. Um, I guess he's learned enough to... Um, Kind of pronounce French names of things. He he said merci earlier and made it sound really terrible. Do you have anything to say Tour about the tower? Magdala. Magdala Tower. Okay. I don't think very many people in New Orleans actually speak French. They could probably pronounce some French names of things. Oh, we get some different background music. The books are all old and French. The books are all old and French. <laughs> French. <laughs> it says French. Seats at the window. Hence the name window seats. Can we sit down? Not right now, thanks. Hmm. Oh, we can go deeper into the tower. Perfect. It's just a decorative post, I guess. I'm sure it's just decorative. Um, okay, we get to enjoy the view of the countryside. Very nice. This is like an old castle tower. Almost reminds me of something <laughs> Ludwig would have built. Ah, uh, Ludwig. All right, well, I guess we'll get out of here. I wonder if we'll see Ludwig's ghost in this game. It's <laughs> disgusting as was. <laughs> oh yeah, I wonder if we do any werewolf stuff in this. Because we did get bitten by a werewolf in the last game. Oh, can we go down here? No. Okay. 
All right, well, not too much to do at the tower. We'll go check out the central square, I suppose. Watch him very slowly walk over. And he doesn't have anything to say about the fountain. Oh, we can rent Not a moped? I'm not sure what it says, but if it has to do with bikes, I'm there. Alright, let's go check out the bike shop. Oh, check out that Harley. Wow, I'd love to drive that baby. Is there anything in the box? No, it's an empty box. I need to rent a bike. I need to rent a bike. Okay. Somebody lives there. Probably someone with a penchant for rusty barrels. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe I should have read that uh, intro comic on stream. Should we go knock on the door? Eccentric guests. Anybody home? I want to rent a um, bike. Hmm. Shit. Guess nobody's home. Oh, well, maybe we should have knocked on this door. Um. Hey, anybody in there? Guess not. Uh, let's see. Eccentric guests. Well, there was this one guy... One time we had this guest in the hotel, and he... Every day, he ordered steak grit, like, two or three times a day. And he also ordered, um, like, a Mickey of vodka. Like, every... Four to five hours, I would want to say. Uh, a Mickey of vodka is like 500 milliliters of vodka. And, um, yeah, about, about a half liter of vodka. So he was ordering like a half liter of vodka. Like, he ordered two or three a day, something like that. Um, which was very concerning. We kind of wanted to cut him off, but it was, he would kind of time it just right so it was between shifts so the next people coming in didn't realize um i i i ended up delivering one of the orders to him and when i knocked on the door he 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 opened up the door and was like oh come on in he was just wearing uh boxer shorts and a like a t-shirt so i was like uh -huh. he shut all the windows so it was like pitch black in there and, um, yeah, so that, that, that was like a really strange guest. Um, did he sign his bill, left a big tip, off, off I went. Um, he stayed in the hotel for like a week and ate steak and fries two to three times a day, went through a prodigious amount of vodka, and then checked out and left. Paid his bills, no issues, didn't cause any complaints with the guests. Just a really weird dude who is probably going through something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so that was one an eccentric guest, I would guess. Uh, okay. What's this? I think it's a bookstore. Okay. Ah, uh, closed for repairs. They're closed. Oh yeah, it was like thirty bucks for a Mickey of vodka. <laughs> it was it was not cheap. We could have gotten like a full uh, twenty six ounce bottle at the liquor store. That was literally attached to to the uh, hotel. That's the, in the way mall. out of town. I wouldn't get far on foot. But he he wanted to order it in room it in via room service. 
uh, which included an automatic 18% gratuity, by the way. Ooh, reminds me of the present the voodoo group left me. Yuck. Uh, okay. Well, gee, I don't need a live chicken at the moment. Oh, you don't want to steal the chicken? Come on. Where's your Nancy Drew adventure game spirit? We go harass this guy. Guess he's getting some fresh air. He'll <laughs> no longer stay in this hotel? Yeah. Well, you wouldn't stay in many hotels in Canada then, Jake. There are, most hotels in Canada will have an auto gratuity. Don't mind if I do. Ugh. Um. Okay, we can't talk to her at all. <laughs> Standing a bit close there, Knight. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Trying to have a cigarette. Uh, poor lady can't get any peace. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Go back inside. Um, Alright, is Mosley still in the um, in the hotel restaurant? Yeah, it's true, it's France. They do like their smokes. I'm mostly still still hanging it out. It probably here. wouldn't make any more sense the second time around. Maybe I should wait till we're alone. Hmm. Well, I guess while we're here, we could get some coffee. Yeah, that was one thing I didn't very I didn't like very much when I was in Paris. Um, at least when I was there, they still had smoking in cafes and stuff. I don't know if they've banned it by now or not. Alright. Let's, let's get even more coffee. I wouldn't mind going back to France and seeing, um, like, the countryside and small towns and stuff. That would be quite nice. I'd like to do the same thing in the UK. Stay away from big cities, but see uh, small towns and villages, that kind of stuff. I probably have an easier time in France just because I speak French. Um, we talk to this guy again. I don't again? have anything else to say to him. No. Mm. We could go I ding think the that bell. Would annoy him. Oh, I would, uh, I would certainly take you up on that. Um, I may actually be in Europe, um, uh, maybe next, next spring. I'm, I'm considering planning a trip. By then I should have some money saved up, uh, to uh, make a trip actually happen. Oh, we can actually talk to him. I some was more. speaking at the hotel register. You wouldn't by any chance recall the actual times people checked in, would you? Monsieur, we are a small hotel. This is why we do not require so precisely the time check in, the time check out. I myself might remember, but I was not on duty last night. <laughs> You've got a tour group staying here. Ah, they fill the hotel. We have only the seven rooms, and they have taken every room but your room, monsieur. If I might say, monsieur is most fortunate to get his room. Particularly since he did not make the reservation, n'est-ce pas? Ooh, lock and guest. Oh, yeah. Risky. I'm lucky as all get out. <laughs> Do you know anything about the tour group, Jean? No, monsieur. You shall have oh. to speak with the mouth of the horse itself. <laughs> Mademoiselle Butin <laughs> is the tour group leader. <laughs> Uh, I like that. I like how they uh, they put in some kind of awkward uh, translation. I hear there's supposed to be a treasure around here. You know anything about it? The Chamber of Commerce, they asked me to sound mysterious. But between you and I, Monsieur Knight, I think the trésor is a myth. A uh, myth? No offense. I hope you are proving me wrong. 
It really makes you feel like you are in Europe, yeah. It's like we're actually there. Maybe somebody else who works here might have seen the two men. The night clerk is Simone. When she comes on duty this evening, perhaps Monsieur could ask her. Okay. Ah, we get to see. It is 965. Oh boy. <laughs> anything have else? Have you noticed anything peculiar going on with the guests? Besides the Mademoiselle Butin, the guests are all of the foreign persuasion. Peculiar is not a word Jean allows himself, compris? Aha. A good hotelier. I just want you to know, you're doing a great job. Oh, so many people forget to say the little words of kindness. Monsieur is too thoughtful. Don't mention it. Um, alright. Do you I want maple syrup now? I don't think I want to show now? that to him. No? Okay. Uh, right. So, what do you want to do? Uh, that's my room, and it's empty at the moment. Oh, we can buzz the specific rooms. Interesting. I don't need to buzz anybody at the moment. Alright. Well, he doesn't want to. Fine. Let's head upstairs, I guess. Mm, mostly we're still in the cafe, so we can't talk to him, really. Room 29. Madeline's room. Oh, I'll have to remember that. Ugh. Are you so creepy? I'm not sure what I'd say if she came to the door. Okay. That's where Lady Howard and Estelle Styles are staying. Why does he say Estelle like that? I'm not sure what I'd say if they came to the door. Mm. This is my room. Ah, right. Of course. So are we adjoining... No, we'd be adjoining to room 23. The register says someone named Wilkes is in that room. I haven't met him yet. How about we knock on the I'm door? I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Ah. Mosley said his room number was 33, so I guess this one's his. Has Mosley teleported to the hotel room? No. Um, can I look at this room? According to the register, Emilia was in this room. Should we harass Emilio? I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. We can't harass me, Emilio. It's too bad. Staff only. The register shows an Italian named Buccelli in this room. Hmm. And we already the register this one? says someone yeah, okay. named Wilkes is in that room. I haven't met him yet. Oh, a gift from Cat. Uh Oh, okay. Universal hint food. Just the hints you need. Okay, cool. Ah. Where did it all go? All right, there it is. And let's get chat up there. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'll check that out uh, if I get stuck, which I probably will cool get stuck. Cool table. Check out those lines. Hmm. Wait, what time is it anyway? It's 12 p.m. Okay. What was my room number? It was 25, right? 23, 25. All right, let's go back into our room. Thankfully, it doesn't make us use our room key, uh, our, our key on it. Uh... Oh yeah, we opened this thing up. I guess I we can close reach it. Too well from here. No, uh, we can't. Uh... Oh, 
Oh, maybe we can use the coat hanger to I can't take the walk? too well from here. Uh, I don't know why I would do that, but it's something we could do. Nope, those don't work together. Hmm. Nope, those don't work together. Okay. Oh, can we open the window? We can open the window. And it progressed the score. Nice view. If nice view. Anything to look at, that is. <laughs> I wonder whose room that is. Don't I know whose room it is? So if I come out of our hotel room, nice closet. <laughs> Yeah, that should be, uh... Room numbers. That's handy. That's where Lady Howard and Estelle Styles are staying. Yeah, that should be their room. Um... Oh, no, okay. Can we use the coat hanger nope, to pick the lock? those don't work together. No? Okay. Um... What if I used no, my IKEA? Those on it? don't work together. No? Okay. Mm. I guess we could head downstairs. Look at that. Read, pick up. According to the register, Mr. Baza arrived before me and oh. blew chili sometime after. And I think I got in around 11. According to the register, Mr. Baza mm -hmm. arrived okay. before me and blew chili sometime after. And I think I got in around 11. Maybe that'll unlock some new dialogue. I don't have with anything else to him? say to him. No. Okay. Uh... Has Bucelli showed up in the restaurant? No. Still Mosley. Go back outside. Because there was a guy that was sitting outside earlier. Well, he's not there anymore. Hmm. I didn't try using any items on the cat. Maybe we can try to make the cat come out of Cut him out of that little shed it ran into. I don't know why I want to do that, but we could try it. So did it pick up, uh, what was it, like a creamer or something? Oh, I thought I picked up a, a creamer. I guess I didn't. I wonder if that cat is back. No, the cat is still hidden. Oh, there's the cat.
Ah, I can't get up there. He doesn't look real thrilled to see me. Hmm. Maybe the cat would like some candy. Oh, we can just mm. eat the candy? That doesn't seem to do much for us. Why would I want to draw on that? Okay. Uh... Maybe we could stab the cat. Nope. Those don't work together. <laughs> okay. Uh... Hmm. We could catch the cat with some tape. Nope, those don't work together. Break in, open. It's padlocked. I don't think I need to bust my way into that shed. It's probably just full of spider mm. webs. I sworn I picked up uh, like creamer or something. Oh no, what I picked up was actually maple syrup. Right, 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 right. Uh... <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Mm. Where the heck are you, Knight? Do you like clip through a wall or something? No, you're just incredibly slow. There you go. I don't think they're still taking customers. He falls again. Or something. Father O'Brien would be ashamed at my memory. From the dark depths of my early religious training, I seem to remember something about Veronica and a veil. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything I need to do in here. I think this one is Jesus fallen for the third time. Jesus with some more women. No, don't remember who. Okay. Mm. Like, did I, I look at all did of like these? these things even way back when? Creeps me out. I then probably again, have to look at I all. I suppose of them. that's the point. Got score 42. Saint Roach. Nice legs. Maybe yeah, he's did. the patron saint of Gillette. <laughs> Never mind. Such a goofball. All right. Mary man. Magdalene. What a babe, huh? He's removed from the cross. Uh, maybe I go with the Saint glass. glass. It's a bit no. too Victorian for my taste, but Gracie loves the stuff. Okay. Jesus is taken to the tomb. St. Anthony of Padua. And there's okay. a kid coming out of a book. Scary. Almost enough to make you never pick up a book again. Stained glass. It's a bit too Victorian for my taste, but Gracie mm. loves the stuff. Nothing there. I, mean, I don't think I looked Madonna at these ones. Madonna and Child. It's kind of a Catholic thing. Mm. Nope. Those don't work together. It's Joseph holding the infant Jesus. Hmm. The Magdalene washing Jesus' feet. They just don't make women like that anymore. <laughs> hmm. Mary Magdalene in some kind of a cave. A skull, a book, and a cross made from a tree with living branches. Huh. A communion cup? Jeez. The last time I took communion, I didn't even have facial hair. 
Not that I have much now. Can we steal it? No. Mm. It's a big pulpit kind of a thing. Okay. Stained glass. It's All a right. bit too Victorian for my taste, but Gracie loves the stuff. Unfortunately, we can't skip voice lines in this game. So if I if I decide to listen to a voice line, we're listening to the whole thing. I remember these stations of the cross from my catechism classes. This one shows Jesus with Pilate. Oh, maybe. I rem Ah, yes. If I hit escape, we can cancel out. Excellent. Jesus can Thank you, Elvish. Nope. Those don't work together. Nope. Ah. Those don't work together. Damn it, game. There Saint we go. Anthony the Hermit. There's a fun loving guy. Jesus falls for the first time. Yeah, okay, we heard that one already. Uh... Jesus and some women. Magdalene's probably one of them. <laughs> Saint Germain. Never heard of her. Maybe she's oh, yeah, that's a really corny still joke. Still on the way to the crucifixion. Okay. Oh, I'm not going to skip over voice lines. Um, it's Jesus and John the Baptist. They look dusty. If it's the first time I've heard them. Um, did I look at all these? I think this one is Jesus. Okay. Jesus with some more wind. Alright. He falls again. From the dark depths. Okay. Uh, right. So, I think I've looked at everything in the church. What are they looking for? The last virgin in France? <laughs> okay, night. Nothing like a little satanic imagery to make a church feel cozy. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Poked around the church, looked at everything. Um... Head back to the hotel, I suppose. Or maybe go back to the museum? That looks like a private home. Okay, private home. Nope, those don't work together. Uh, yeah, let's go back into the museum. Those two ladies might be there, and maybe we'll have something uh, more to talk about. Hey, they actually have souvenirs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything else I to say to this lady? I don't have anything else to no. say to her. They're still here. I think I've had enough of Lady Howard for the moment. <laughs> I think I've had enough of Lady Howard for the moment. Uh, what if I didn't want to talk to Lady Howard? I wanted to talk to the other one. I think I've had okay. enough of Lady Howard for the moment. They're just both Lady Howard. Fine. Um, go. A bunch of old documents in French. Be still, my heart. All right, maybe we gotta look nope, at each one of these. Those don't work together. This side tells the story of that Abbe Sonier. Oh, okay. This side tells the story of that Abbe Sonier. Okay. Uh, blah blah blah. This side tells the story of that abbe. I'm just gonna say that every time. This side tells the story of. This side. What does this say? Uh, Rimla Chateau. His fortunes have changed. He began spending vast sums of money. He had a lavish villa built for himself. Okay. Um, 
blah blah blah. So did some um, un unaccountable things, such as destroying several of the tombstones in the local graveyard and defacing other ancient local inscriptions. Uh huh. So near died. Yada yada yada. Okay. Well, let's get out of here then. We're still at 42 out of 965, so obviously I haven't done something I'm supposed to do. It looks like a lost and found box. Do you want to grab that hat now? It's not really my style. Looks more like something Mosley would wear. Okay. Apparently not. Mm. That's that private home. I wasn't able to rent a motorcycle yet. That looks like a private home. Okay. Did I miss something in here? I need to rent a bike. Okay. Nothing like a bunch of rusty barrels to make you want to rent a bike. Super. Um. Vers heures et Okay, so it's not open yet. It opens at 2. It's currently noon. Uh, the weird controls are pretty jank. Um, I was very hesitant to play this um, when it uh, when I first loaded up the game. But, you know, it's still got the same kind of hammy voice lines and stuff. So... Um, I'm 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 tempted to tough it out. Guess he's getting some fresh air. Um, oh, we should go pick up another. Nope, those candy. don't work together. So maybe we go back to the bar. Can I sit no on thanks. the bench? No. Well, not the bar into the. Um, Hotel. Go take a candy. Can we take I wouldn't want one? to get greedy about it. All right, so he came back inside. What's over here? I don't need any more syrup. <laughs> um, I could take the cream and sugar, but it would get a bit messy. I could take the cream and sugar, but it would get a bit messy. Can we, can we just drink the cream and sugar? Real men drink it black. Oh boy. Uh, hmm. I hope they don't actually cook in that. Yeah. Okay, Gabriel. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Well, it's it's ten a.m. to noon, and I appear to be stuck. Let's take a quick look at what the... Oh boy, I haven't even progressed past the hint. First hint. Uh, how can I talk to the women in the museum? What am I supposed to do during this time block? When will this time block end? Uh, when will this time block end? Uh, 
required action. Mm. All right, whatever. I don't want to look at the hints. All right. Mm. I mean, how long is Mosley going to be? Oh, maybe we could have breakfast? I'm not hungry yet. No. Is there any new conversation topics for this guy? No. I did see a dude talking on the phone. Is he still there? No. Anything in here? Oops. It's a telephone. They work the same way here in France. Uh, okay. Can we use it? I'm not sure who to call. Um. Could try calling our. I don't think it'd do me much good. It'll take more to convince Prince James than just my opinion. Okay. No hints. Oh, there's a little help thing. So, nothing to do here, it seems. I don't have anything to say to him. I don't have anything else to say to him. No. Okay. Good chat with this guy. I just want you to know you're doing a great job. Oh. Okay. Um. Go back outside. Don't really have anything to say to her. I like a woman who keeps her equipment in good shape. <laughs> okay, game. Um. Guess he's getting some fresh air. Hmm. The only th other thing I could interact with was the cat. We can't go out of town. I guess there's this rooster. Well, gee, I don't need a live chicken at the moment. Can we interact with it with objects? Maybe... I don't know, what object would I use on the rooster? Would a rooster like maple syrup? Well, gee, I don't need a live chicken at the moment. I don't think I want to show that to him. No? Okay. Hmm... What other objects could I show to the rooster? Is My that... wallet. Ah, it's your wallet. Okay. Um... Use the medallion on the rooster. I don't think I want to show that to him. Okay. Well, it's... Nope. Those don't work together. Okay. Ah. Hmm. Okay. 
do I do? Uh, Yeah, the cat is still there. He doesn't look real thrilled to see me. He doesn't look real thrilled to see me. What what could I use to entice a cat? I don't see why any of this would be of interest to a cat. Maybe... Nope. Those don't, don't work, work together. together. Alright. Oh, can I go up here? No, that's a dead end. Uh, of course not. It's padlocked. So, mm, try nope, to. Nope, those don't work together. Those don't work together. Um, try to pick the lock with the coat hanger. Nope, those don't work together. Mm, Use the knife on the lock. Nope, those don't work together. Mm. I don't want to look too hard. I might see something embarrassing in there. Mm. So maybe something I like. didn't look at. Oh, chat went away. <laughs> oh god, you're slow. Okay. It does seem if you... And the camera like this, Gabriel will will just teleport out to where you need to go. Like, do I need to look at this? Right. They obviously need to keep away the hordes of tourists. Okay. Uh... Secrets of the Holy Grail. Okay. I wonder if that book's got something to do with this area. Unfortunately, the store is closed. San Grial. Holy Grail. San Grial. Thank Wasn't God. that what the two <laughs> men on the train said? Why would they be talking about the Holy Grail? And what does the Grail have to do with Ren Le Chateau? Okay, well, um, is this significant? I think it's a bookstore. Gee, that book looks interesting. Too bad the store is closed. Oh, looks like they're closed. 
Okay. That's a pick of Jane Jensen? Oh, okay. I wonder, do I now have voice? Don't mind if I oh, do. Gosh. Calm down, Gabe. Um... Do I now have more voice lines with this guy? Guess he's getting some fresh air. Doesn't look like it. Maybe Mosley has gone inside now. Okay, we don't have any lines with him. Don't feel like sitting down. I don't have anything else to say to him. Okay. Mosley still there? Um, been looking in that window, open up some more voice lines with the ladies in the museum, maybe. Because those were the only other things I could, I could remember even being able to interact with. to watch Gabe very slowly walk over there. Uh, okay, let's talk to old lady first. Say, Hi. does the Holy Grail have something to do with this area? Mm, perhaps. Uh-huh. And what would the connection be, exactly? Some believe the Templars found sacred Christian treasure in the Holy Land. When they were persecuted, they would have hidden it, n'est-ce pas? It really is not that difficult to leap, monsieur. Sacred Christian treasure? Like the Holy Grail? Possibly. The most <laughs> famous Grail story, written by Wolfenbach, was set in Languedoc. Did you know that, monsieur? Ah. Uh -uh. No, of course you did not. A milli <laughs> Alright. You mentioned Templars, as in the Knights Templars. Were they really from this? If you wish to know about the Templars, read the history board. Hmm. I wonder if uh, we'll have unlocked more voice lines from Gabriel coming in here now. These panels tell the history of the Rennes Le Chateau area. These panels tell okay. the history of the Rennes Le Chateau area. Alright, do the British ladies have anything, any new voice lines with the British ladies? Yes, we can you talk about the Grail. You chance line. be here looking for the Holy Grail, would you? Ah, but we all seek the Holy Grail. <laughs> you mean, everyone on the tour? No, little man. All mankind. The correct question is not, do you seek the grail, but do you know what the grail is? Well, what is it? Ah, 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 ah. <sighs> I think I've had enough of Lady Howard for the moment. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we advanced the uh, the score, though. Maybe Lady Howard would like a candy. I don't want to show that to her. I don't want to show that to her. No? Okay. They're not interested. Uh, would she like my maple syrup? I don't want to show that to her. I don't want to show that to her. No? Lady Howard and Estelle Styles. They're Brits, not to mention a little whacked. <laughs> uh, I think I've had enough of Lady Howard for the moment. Okay. Mm. 
Any other random inventory items we can show them? I don't want to show that to her. Okay. Uh, shot and Jaeger knife, maybe. I don't want to show that to her. No? Okay. Um, show her our passport and so she can know we're Americans. I don't want to show that to her. <laughs> no, I'm an American. Uh, no? Okay. I think I've had enough of Lady Howard for the moment. Okay, well maybe we've, by just by talking to Lady Howard, we've done everything we need to do. So let's get out of here. Oh, can I buy uh, touristy stuff now? Hey, they actually have souvenirs for sale. I'm sure Gracie will be all over it if and when she gets here. Um, can we buy a souvenir? I'm not really one for writing letters. Besides, it's a kind of a tourist thing to buy postcards. Okay. I don't want to show that to her. Right. Um, I doubt we suddenly want the hat, but... It's not really my style. Yeah, I didn't think Looks so. It's more like something Mosley would wear. Not one for writing letters. Hmm. Yeah, Gabriel Knight 2 had quite a few letters back and forth. Very efficient postal service, Steve. Um, okay. Aha! Okay, we progressed. Save. Crazy set, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, we've made it to noon. Um, this opened at two o'clock. Yeah, it's the key to everything. Yeah. Looks like Madeline's here. What? Mm, okay. Do we go back into the hotel? Nobody here. Do you have anything new to talk about? No. Double check the guest book. Looks like a few of the guests have switched rooms. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Looks like a few of the guests have switched rooms. Hmm. Okay. Anything in here? No one's making any phone calls, all right. Should get some more coffee. I've been waiting to get you alone, Maddie. Oh. Okay. I don't like the break in front of the others. But I think you're gonna be surprised at how this dirt turns out. Might bring some fame your way. Help you out. Are you implying, Monsieur Wilkes, that you intend to find the treasure this trip? That's right. You will have my full attention when you do. You don't believe me? I got this theory, see? Monsieur Wilkes, everyone has a theory. Yeah, but they ain't got what I got. You can write that up and take it to the bank. Really? And what do you have that is so unusual? Why don't you come by my room tonight and find out? <laughs> I got this big piece of equipment, see? Oh, je comprends. However big your equipment, monsieur, I've no doubt seen something very much like it before. Besides, I probably have other plans. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to this guy. Ah. 
Hi. I don't think we've met. I'm Gabriel Knight. Knight, eh? Wilkes is the name. John Wilkes. Australian? That's right. And you're a Yank. If you mean American, yeah. <laughs> but there are certain branches of my family tree that shoot you for that one. Are you with the tour? Yeah, I'm with the tour. Look, I'm all for being friendly, like, but my lunch is getting cold. Oh, sure. We'll, uh, uh, we'll talk later. John Wilkes. He's with the tour. <laughs> is it just me, or is he eyeing Madeline the way a trucker eyes a Bud Light? Now me, I'd never be that obvious. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, we could get some lunch. Not right now, thanks. Uh, I could go for some lunch. Uh... I don't need any more syrup. You want to take any food from here? I make it a rule never to look at French food. It sometimes looks back. Wow. I make it a rule never to look at French food. It sometimes looks back. Yeah, I mean, like, okay, like, it's it's got horrible 3D. The controls are jank. Um, but, you know, it's it's got the same, like, fun goofiness the other games have. So, uh, it's, it's won me over as well. <laughs> I just gotta stand Hey, here. Madeline. How's lunch? Satisfactory, Monsieur Knight. Will you be dining, or are the prices here, uh, kinda steep? Oh, if I get hungry, I'll eat. Don't worry about it. I will try not to, uh, fret. Oh, look at her using all the uh, Anglo uh, I don't want to show that to her. No? You don't want to join in on tour? Okay. So I can't just use money to join in on tour. But Mosley isn't here, so we could probably go up to the room and say hello to Mosley. Okay. So upstairs. Oh, it's the ladies. Mr. Knight? Oh, they have a giant trunk. We were looking for a giant trunk. There you are, ladies. I greatly appreciate your understanding. Oh, they're swapping rooms. I'm sure you'll be able to repay us somehow, Mr. Baza, when the time comes. <laughs> what Ooh, a trunk inside that trunk, down. yes. I really must rest. Thank you, Mr. Bowser. Oh, thank you, Miss Styles. We're Miss Styles. So, Mr. Bowser is now next door to us. I think that's what that means. Room 29. Madeline's room. Oh, I'll have to remember that. Oh, God. Keep it in your pants, Gabe. All right. What's this? this was Emilio's room. Now those two British women have it. <laughs> I love the disdain in his voice when he says that. <laughs> the register shows an Italian named Buccelli in this room. It's Wilkes' room. <laughs> right, that's Mosley. This is my room. Baza's in that room now. He switched with the girls from England. For some reason. Okay. Mosley said his room number was 33, so I guess this one's his. This is running a hairdryer? God, how long can it take to dry those three or four strands of hair? <laughs> God, how long can it take to dry those three or four strands of hair? Okay, Moosley's busy drying his hair. Um, go back into our room, maybe. Maybe. 
That platform looks sturdy. Oh, can I now? Yeah, that sounds like fun. It does. Um, I can't reach it too well from here. Maybe we could use our coat hook on it? Or coat hanger? Nope, those don't work together. No, they don't? All right. Open it. Uh... It's a dumb waiter. It's a dumb waiter. I guess the lock prevents anyone from coming in that way. Okay. I can't reach it too well from here. What if you crawled inside? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Damn it, Gabriel. It's like, it's right there. You can... Oh, can we... There's a clippable... Oh, okay. A pulley. When was this thing built? The Dark Ages? It's a dumb waiter. Hmm. Nope, those don't work together. And... I'm already carrying it. Okay. Uh, maybe we could put the tape over nope, the thing. Nope, those don't work together. No. Oh, there's nothing in there but dust bunnies. Oh, something I didn't check is, does Gabe check out his hair if we look in the mirror? Oh, there's, there's no mirror in this hotel room. <laughs> what a grim hotel room. <laughs> Font of cleanliness. Also, the toilet just has a curtain? That's kind of grim. Can I steal the towel? Uh, <laughs> it's a bit Very animal, important. Isn't it? <laughs> okay. Oh, there's soap. Is that soap? I can't click on it, though, unfortunately. Oh, they even have the right kinds of outlets. That's cool. Uh... Oh, can't do anything with that. Uh... <laughs> All right, it's a bit anal, isn't it? Right, okay, well, let's get out of here, then. Hell, Mosley's still drying his hair. God, how long? Mm -hmm. Should I see if I'm in? Oh, right, that's his room. I could ask him why he changed rooms, but I'm not sure I get a straight answer. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'd say if she came to the door. Where'd those... Where are the British ladies at? I'm not sure what I'd say if they came to the door. Yeah, that's where the British ladies are. Can I sneak in there? It's locked. Good thing I don't need any toilet paper. Uh, can I 
I pick the lock with coat hanger? Nope, those don't work together. Unfortunately not. Um... I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Okay. I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Okay, Mosley's still drying his hair, so I guess we gotta go do something to unlock Mosley. Oh, maybe we, we just buzz his room. I don't need Mr. Muffin Butt at the moment. I don't need to buzz anybody at the moment. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't think we're going to have any extra dialogue with this guy, but we can try. I just want you to know you're... I guess if there's no um, question mark inside the speech bubble, it's just a, uh, it's just like a flavor event. So it's noon to 2 p.m. Um, does that mean we can rent a scooter? They do say they open at 2. Hey, anybody in there? Probably Guess not. not. Mm, is there anything I could look at in here? What a pathetic excuse for a bag. Right. Sims 1 vibes? Yeah, maybe. Well, let's keep going. Okay. Uh... Anything here? Well, this place is closed to the public. Um, we didn't see anyone at the tower last time, but we could go check it out. Maybe there'll be someone there now? here. Back to the top of the tower. Yeah, nothing. It's just a decorative post, I guess. Hmm. That makes me think it's nothing but a decorative post. Nope, those don't work together. Okay. Yes, thank you, Gabriel. Uh, let's head back outside. Go back into the museum. Now, will you pick up the hat? It's not really my style. Yeah. Looks more like something Mosley would wear. Is there some new dialogue unlocked? I don't here? have anything else to say to her. No? Okay. Is there someone else in the museum? No. Okay. There's no one else in the museum. So let's get out of here. So we still haven't met the. Nope. Uh, those don't work together. The Italian nope, felt. Nope. Those Damn don't it. work together. Yeah, I want to keep to leave the museum. Thank you. Um... Oh wait, no, that's not what I wanted. Um... So I wanted to go to the church. Go 
Go on. Go to the church. All right. Mm, let's go take a quick look, see if there are any people in the church. Oh, there's a bunch of people in the church. Chi è colpevole di questo sacrilegio? May I be of service, monsieur? Par ce signe tu le vencra? Could you tell me what is meant by this? It means, by this sign shall you conquer it. It, it? What is it? The proper phrase is par ce signe tu vencra. By this sign shall you conquer. Meaning, naturally, the sign of the cross. I am aware that there's been a slight modification, yes. <sighs> to what end? What is the it to which the words refer? Monsieur, the Abbe Saunier designed this statue. What he meant by this, or by any of the decorations in the church, we can only surmise. I see. If that is your answer, then you cannot be of service to me. Good day. Monsieur? <laughs> Alright, well, let's attack. Let's uh, talk to this rude Italian chap. Ah, are you with the tour? Si, signore. And who are you? My name's Knight. My friend Mosley is on your tour. Ah, I am Bugelli. Vittorio Bugelli. Nice to meet you. How'd you like the tour so far? Uh, <laughs> I am enjoying it. Yes, thank you. Uh, okay, let's question him about all manner Did of things. Did you get in late last night, Signor uh, Buccelli? Signore. Yes, it was quite late. Did you drive, or...? I took a train. Oh, yeah? I came in last night by train. What train were you on? Uh, from, uh, from Naples. So, what do you think of the church? It isn't a church. They should make that clear. It's not a church? No, this parish was closed years ago. The building is a tourist attraction, nothing more. <laughs> Do you know anything about the Holy Grail being around here? The Grail is a story, nothing more. Okay. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you come to look for the treasure? Treasure? <laughs> Signore, please. Oh, you don't think there is a treasure? I would be very surprised. Then how come you took the tour? Well, uh, the history of the area and the fable of the treasure, uh, these interest one, no? No, not really. Then why are you here? Oh, yeah, the history, sure. <laughs> yeah, the history, sure. Uh, I don't have anything else to say to him. How is he different from the Italians, you know, Jake? Ooh. A coin. Multiple coins. Hey, I got enough sins already, thanks. <laughs> I've never known an unfriendly Italian. Yeah, I guess I've never really known... Hmm. I don't read French. <laughs> I don't read French. Alright, let's talk to our uh, pastor, I guess, the priest. I haven't met many Italians. Hey, so how I, are you? Uh, the name's Knight. Say. Good afternoon, Mr. Knight. Are you the priest here, or...? People call me the Abbe, yes. The name's Arnaud. Abbe Arnaud. Okay. This is quite a place. I haven't seen many churches this, uh... <laughs> colorful. I assure you, it is unique. St. Mary Magdalene's is quite ancient, but Abbe Saunier restored it in the 1890s. It is his spirit you see around you. Ah. Nice. Nice spirit. Uh, okay. You don't see churches dedicated to Mary Magdalene very often. Ah, but the Magdalene cult was quite strong in the old days, particularly in this part of the world. Oh, yeah? Why is that? The Magdalene journeyed to the south of France after the death of Jesus. She lived here for many years. In fact, you can visit her remains at a church near Marseille. Ah, 
I had no idea. I had no idea. The Holy Grail has been linked to this area, is that right? The connection is nearly as old as the Grail legend itself. What have you read on the subject? Not much. Arthurian legends aren't really my thing. But it's supposed to be a cup that contained the blood of Christ, isn't it? A vessel that contains the blood of Christ, yes. They, uh, they really dialed up uh, Gabriel's uh, southernness in this one. Do you think the Holy Grail is behind the treasure of Ren Le Chateau? It is possible. Do you know of anyone in this area that has a particular interest in the Grail? Besides myself? Hmm. No one that I can think of. Of course, the treasure seekers who visit the valley are often interested in the Grail. Ah. What do you mean by the Magdalene cult? A cult of devotion. It's still quite strong in this area, despite the best efforts of the Catholic Church. Did you know that most of the famous Black Madonna images were not images of the Virgin Mary at all, but of the Magdalene? The Church wanted to downplay the role of Mary Magdalene. So they called her a prostitute, and insisted that all the Black Madonnas were really the Virgin Mary. But the Black Madonnas usually show a mother and child, don't they? If the woman's Mary Magdalene, who's the child? Excellent question, Mr. Knight. <laughs> a question I will not answer. Do you know much about the Templars? I know the basic history. There are a few Templars buried in the cemetery, you know. But, uh, yes. I think I'll refer you to a young scholar staying in the house near the Chateau de Blanchefort. His name is Larry Chester. He says he's working on a Templar book. Okay, thanks. And let me know if he's helpful at all, will you? Sure. Uh, let's Do ask him about the treasure. you think that there's a treasure around here? Of course there's a treasure. But it will not be found by just anyone. Let those who have ears hear. Right. <laughs> I don't want to wear out my welcome. All right. Mm. Can we try to get into this room now? Our nose sitting right here. <laughs> okay. Now oh, we can't even uh, try to go in. All right. Well, that was a bunch of dialogue, um, and our score has gone up quite a bit. Is that okay? Um, let's see. Can we go see the cat? Oh yeah, the cat is still there. Ah, I can't get up there. Feeling more affectionate now? Well, Gabe bust down the door now. I don't think I need to now. bust my way into that shed. It's probably just full of spider webs. No. Ah, clock noise means progression, and people might have moved around. Okay. So, maybe we should go back to the hotel. Mosley might be done drying his uh, few strands of hair. I hope we can insult Mosley in uh, this one. There was a lot of fun in Gabriel Knight 1 just to randomly insult Mosley every once in a while. Oh, the tour bus is gone. So I guess we won't be able to see most. Oh, what if I have to notice that it's gone? Is there... No, there's no like audio line or anything. Okay, I guess there isn't. Yeah, 
I guess there isn't a mechanic where you get to uh, steal room keys. Or... Do we have anything to say to him? No. Oh, maybe there is a mechanic for that. Uh, no, it doesn't seem like it. Anything new in the guest book? Buccelli admits he came in late. Says he took a train from Naples. Mm, yeah, maybe I should. You're right. Let's just tell him he's doing a great job. Have you noticed anything peculiar going on with the guests? Besides the Mademoiselle Butin, the guests are all of the foreign persuasion. Peculiar is not a word Jean allows himself, compris? Have you noticed anything peculiar? Ah, okay, that's the. Uh... We don't. We don't get to tell if he's doing a great job at the moment. Sorry, Darth. There. Um. Nothing appears to be there. I wouldn't want to get greedy about it. Can't take another candy. Uh, maybe we can have some lunch or coffee. Okay, we've got our British ladies hanging out. Real propane cooking. Yeah. Um. Have some, uh... Not right some lunch. now, thanks. No? Okay. Have some coffee. Oh, he'll have coffee, though. I guess we could go talk to the British ladies. Hi, ladies. Good afternoon, Mr. Knight. Mr. Knight? How's lunch? It's really quite good. Don't let the staff hear you say that. A bit of complaining keeps them on their toes. Lily, oh you know it's <laughs> true, darling. Thanks for the advice. All right. I just talked to him in the church. Okay. All right. Well, nothing. Uh, nothing significant going on here. Maybe we can finally talk to Mosley. Well, Mosley's not drying his hair anymore. All right, you hairball. What are you really doing here? You didn't know anything about my tree. I'll tell ya. Don't worry about it. What about you? Since when do you take European tours? Hey, you don't know everything about me. Apparently not. Anyway, I was here first. So what's your excuse? Uh, uh... Have you heard a baby crying since you've arrived? A baby? What the hell are you talking about, Knight? I ain't heard no baby. <laughs> All right, this is what happened. A couple of weeks ago, Grace and I got this invitation in the mail. I was passed out for a while. I'm not even sure how long. When I got up, we were at the Kouiza station. The conductor saw the two men get off. They've got to be around here somewhere. Wow, this is really interesting. Well, I'm glad you appreciate it. So what's all this about vampires? Wait, or did I hear something funny? Nothing funny about it. The night visitors, Prince James calls them, but they take blood. Sounds like vampires to me. Oh, you don't believe in that crap, do you? Mose, you have no idea. Well, the kidnappers are real <laughs> enough. Yeah. So what are you going to do? I'm going to figure out what's going on, that's what. First of all, there's your tour group. I think you're swinging at an empty plate there. Y'all got in last night, didn't you? Maybe one of you was on that train. 
Or maybe someone in your little group is here for a handoff of the kid. It'd be the perfect cover story. Hmm, you're right. It's possible. Or maybe not. Which is why I gotta go check out the area too, soon as I get some wheels. So this is a real Schottenjager case, huh? What's going on with that whole thing? And uh, what about Grace? I'll tell you. Don't rush me. Um. Grace is doing fine since you asked. A bit. Huh? Huh? Come on. The two of you alone in the Alps. Cheese We're mostly. not sleeping together. What? Did he get chewed off in your last case or what? Oh, I don't know. We've come close a couple of times, but I get all freaked out or something. You're starting to worry me, bud. Look, Gracie's a doll, but she's living with me. If I slept with her and then I changed my mind, what would I do? Throw her out? Why don't you just marry her, Nat? Oh, God. I forgot. <laughs> You're allergic. Even if I did want to get married, I'm not sure it would be Gracie. <laughs> She's like a chair, you know? A chair. Say you see this really great <laughs> chair, and you like the chair, and your mother likes the chair, and everyone says you should buy the chair, but you know that if you take it home, everything else would have to go. You know, like the chair is Louis the Fourteenth, and the rest of your place is Ikea. Well, bud, I hate to say it, but you better start cooking or get out of the kitchen. Because you keep farting around, and somebody might just bait you to it. Fuck in your language. <laughs> Mose, do you know anything about the Holy Grail? The Holy Grail? No, not really. Why? What do you know about the Holy Grail? Me? Not much. Uh, about the Schottenegger stuff? You know, we had that big case last year. Yeah, I seen your book, The Brutal Beast. God, what a sick freaking mind you got. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, since then, Grace and Gerda have been getting all organized on me. Gracie even did this computer program called Sydney. Supposed to help when we're in the field. Of course, I'll never use it, but I can't tell her that. Uh-huh. And I've noticed you're looking a little tone there, huh? Huh? Yeah, I've been working out. Grace says I need to be in shape to chase the bad guys. I point to you as an example in the contrary. <laughs> then she points out that you never get the bad guys. Oh, ha-ha. Glad to see you haven't lost your butt-stupid sense of humor. So, <laughs> did you ever find out uh, how your family got into this whole thing in the first place? No. The journals go way back to 900 A.D., and it looks like it was an old family tradition even then. I don't know. Grace found a few other groups of shadow hunters, and they seem pretty decent. There's a whole ashram in India where they train monks for this kind of thing. Grace has been bugging me about going. Why don't you? Shit. I'm not a Lost Horizons kind of guy. I see what you mean. <laughs> well, no point getting all serious about it. Screw you, mostly. Uh... Is it verb chooser? Verb chooser. Uh, so, how do you find out about this tour anyway? I read about it in a travel magazine. A travel magazine? Since when do you read travel magazines? What? Like you're the only one that can go running off to Europe? I'm pretty cosmopolitan myself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Cosmospolutin is more like it. Oh, nice. ha ha. Getting the mostly Let's go write some in. dialogue, smart ass. Get it out of your system. So, what about the treasure of Rand Le Chateau? You have a theory? Not really. Madeline says everybody has a theory. Oh, that Madeline. Oh, what a bite, huh? <laughs> yeah. <Jeez. laughs> Wait a minute. You never said what you think about the treasure. Is that why you came? To find the treasure. I don't know about that. Find out about it, maybe. Sure, it, it, it seemed like a lark. But what do you... Speaking of Madeline, now, don't you just love that kind of tough girl thing she's got going? Man, whew. 
I wasn't speaking about Madeline. I was talking about the treasure. Oh, nice area though, isn't it? <laughs> what? Now, you didn't see the kidnappers in the area last night, did you? Hmm. Now, the guys you saw on the train both had long hair pulled back in ponytails, and they had this trunk with air holes. Nope. I haven't seen anything like that since I got here. Alright, we'll get to check, check out Mosley's room. Man, what a dump. What a crappy, crappy hotel room Mosley got. Alright, uh... Mosley's obviously not using that closet. If it was shorter, he could set his B on it. <laughs> I thought I smelled something. Um, They're not in my size, color, or decade. Uh, Madeline, the lady Mosley was talking about. God, is he still wearing that gold blazer? <laughs> I can't uh, believe it hasn't she's the fallen tour to guide. shreds by now. Must be all those tough polyester fibers. Man, so brutal to Mosley. Poor Mosley. Hey, the man's a pig. What can I say? Did he steal his shoes? They're not in my size, oh, color, or decade. What about the can? Ugh, that's what maids are for. You heard of girl movies? That's a girl painting. Uh... What is it with me and trunks lately? J.C. Penny Special from high school. Please don't make me. <laughs> uh... Mosley must be up to something if he's carrying around his briefcase. Ooh, I don't want to see Mosley's briefs. Mm. Now that's what I miss about living alone. Pure, unrepentant sloth. <laughs> I don't think Mose would appreciate me poking around his bathroom, even if I could stomach it. Steal his badge again? <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think Mosley has jurisdiction here. Uh, anything else we can do I with Mosley? I can't think of anything to talk to Mos about at the moment. No? All right. Unfortunately, the poor guy looks exactly the same. <laughs> oh, man. Poor Mosley. He gets such a hard time. I'm All gonna right. take off. You wanna look around with me this afternoon? This afternoon? Nah. I got some things to do. What could you have to do? You're on vacation. What? Oh. Uh, I brought some work with me. Yeah, you know, you know, a cop's work is never done. <laughs> never started, even. Oh, uh, by the way, would you uh, mind not uh, mentioning to anyone that I'm a cop? What? People just get kind of weird. You know, I want to be an average Joe for once. Come on. Mose, I've got news for you. You can't get any more average. Not. <laughs> All right, all right. Mum's the word. Thanks. See you around? Yeah. See ya. Who oh, was that? A glass. I think it was a glass. It looks like it was a glass. Uh... A water glass. Okay. It's just a normal water glass. Oh, you know what? I never looked at the... Uh, I don't think I went through my inventory and looked at all of it. Maple syrup. Siroyable. Okay. Ah! I clicked off the screen. There we go. Um... It ain't Godiva chocolates, but sugar is sugar. Sugar is sugar. Just a little peppermint candy. Uh, okay. Mm. 
Which one was my room again? My three? I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Huga is sugar. I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Alright. Mm. I'm not sure what I'd say if they came to the door. Gabriel is very uncertain of himself. I'm not sure what I'd say if she came to the door. Mm, 25 was my room. Yeah. Can we go out the window? No. Right, let's try opening up this thing again. It's pretty cool that it remembers that, uh... I can't reach it too well from here. Why would I want to send that downstairs? Oh, can send things downstairs, though. Crap. Clicked off the screen. Um... Okay, yeah, nothing... Nothing I'd really want to send downstairs. Can we use this? Not right now, thanks. No. Uh, was there anything in here? Do we suddenly My want to... My hands are clean, Ma. Suddenly want to shower? What? Is this Saturday already? I guess not. I could ask him why he changed rooms, but I'm not sure I get a straight answer. Right. Let's go downstairs then. Aha! 2 to 4 p.m. Excellent. It's maybe a reminder to make a save. Let's save 3, 2 to 4 p.m. That should mean the uh, motorcycle shot shop is open. Looks like the moped shop is open. Yeehaw! <laughs> All right. Go... Right, I'm sure they wouldn't mind. Let's go to the moped shop. Hey, how you doing? I want to rent a bike. Oui. Your passport, please. Uh, Monsieur Knight, you are not with the tour group? I do not see you on my list. Nope. I'm on my own. Ah, I am sorry, Monsieur, but most of my fleet is reserved for the tour group. What? I have one little bike left, Monsieur, but she is nothing grand. I show you. Here she is. This piece of crap? Oh, come on. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for this baby. Ooh, what is this? A WW2 army issue? Oui, but the tour group reservations were made first. It is this little bike, monsieur, or nothing. Well, who gets the Harley? Whoever chooses it first, monsieur. If none of the others want the large bike, you may have it. Oh, yeah, like that's gonna happen. Well, let me know what you decide. <laughs> uh... Shoot? What? You can just shoot him? I don't have a gun. Why can I shoot him? Why is that an option? <laughs> uh... 
I'm not gonna be able to charm my way into that Harley. I'll have to think of something else. Um, you can slip him some cash, maybe? I don't think I want to show that to him. No? Okay. Mm. Alright. I guess Gabe is just too proud to use the uh, little mini bike. I wonder if we'll see people at the church. Well, actually, I'm going to go get some coffee, uh, not coffee, some more water, and I'll be right back. We'll take a peek inside the church, see if there's anybody hanging out.
Okay, what's his name is gone? I don't hear anything. I don't think he's in there. Alright. Well, let's leave then. Mm. Cat is still there. But I haven't found anything that would help. Um... Could head back to the museum, I suppose. I don't have anything else to say to her. Okay. Probably isn't anyone in here. No, there isn't. I figured out if you get as close as possible to um, two things, it'll uh, it cuts out the animation so it goes quicker. Okay, maybe we can talk to the British ladies. Oh, I noticed y'all moving suitcases around upstairs. Was there a problem with your room? Oh my, yes. But that wasn't why we moved, Lily. No. Mr. Barza kindly offered to exchange with us. He's a Muslim, you see. Wanting to be facing east and all that. Well, Estelle and I are very much in favor of supporting the cultural differences between us, aren't we, darling? Yes, Lily. And it's a much nicer Rome. It's larger and has a balcony. Of course, I do appreciate the sacrifice. But then there are two of us and only one of Mr. Barza. And I'm sure he's used to stuffier quarters. What? Middle Easterners so often are, you see. Yeah, I've uh, heard that. Um, can't check out the... They're busy map gazing. Okay. All right, nothing from him. Let's see if there's anyone in the dinner room. There is not. Let's have a cup of coffee while we're here. We're not gonna watch him have the coffee though. It really, really is amazing that they have a... Nothing much on the buffet at the moment. It's like a bottomless uh, pitcher of coffee. Gabriel Knight's in heaven. Alright. Um... Head back upstairs. Is there anything here? No. Okay. I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. No? I was thinking we could try to... I could try to hassle them about... Um, the motorcycle. But maybe we can talk Mosley into taking the smaller motorcycle. Now what is it, Nat? Say, you got a passport, Mose? Right here, doofus. Why? Oh, just want to make sure you keep it on you. You know what they say about hotel rooms in Europe. No. What do they say? Um... Uh, don't leave your passports in them. Right. Well, Maddie already told us to keep them handy, but thanks so much for your concern. <laughs> I can't think of anything to talk okay. to Mose about at the moment. 
I'm not sure. Unfortunately, the poor guy looks exactly the same. <laughs> I'm not sure what that was all about. See ya. Yeah, get out of here, you wanker. <laughs> uh... I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Hmm. I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. We can't get in there. I'm not sure what I'd say if they came to the door. Can I... Estelle and the Great White Hope are in that room. Uh... Room 29. Madeline's room. Oh, I'll have to remember that. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure what I'd say if she came to the door. Okay. Mm. I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Right. So there wasn't anyone at the church. They're down here. Um, anyone in the phone room? The only other location would be the tower. So I guess we could go check out the tower. Uh, after we are done here. Unless I need to, like, use an object on something. It could be something I need to look at as well. Um, that I haven't looked at yet. Villa Bethania. Personal residence constructed by Sonier. He's the one who got rich and started the rumors about a treasure. The sign says, do not enter. I'd at least need a reason to ignore it. Okay. I can't see a thing through those. Hmm. I think those windows showed the sacred heart of Jesus. You gotta hand it to us Catholics, babe. We really know our anatomy. Babe? Who are you talking to, bud? Um, uh, okay. Well, I guess we could go check out the tower. See if there's anyone hiding in there. There does not appear to be anyone hiding in here. Anyone at the top of the tower? Oh, our Italian friend is here. Ah, but we can't say anything to him. Signore Buccelli, hey, what's up? Hello, Mr. Knight. Um, I was just uh, taking in the view. It's a lovely view up here, no? Yeah, especially with Binox. See Binox? anything interesting? Ugh. Only God's splendor, my friend. Oh, right. That. <laughs> mm. Boo Chili sure gets around. Especially for someone who doesn't want to be here. Okay. Well. Nope. Those don't work together. Now, the look books at... are all old and French. The books are all old and French. The books are all old and French. The book. The book. The book. The book. Okay, I've looked at all the books. Mm, 
can't do anything there. There was nothing in the museum. There was nothing at the church. Maybe there's some kind of item I have to try to give the... Uh, the motorcycle dude? I'm not going to be able to charm my way into that Harley. I'll have to think of something else. Maybe he likes candy. Grace has been working on our procedure for... Um, okay, we don't have any other light bulbs over about things. Uh, I don't think I want to show... Okay. Um, maybe we could offer him some maple syrup. I don't think... No. Okay. Uh, maybe we explain we're a Schottenjäger and we really need the motorcycle. I don't think I want to show that to him. No. I'm not going to be able to charm my way in. Yeah, okay, we have to think of something else. Uh... I wouldn't be caught dead on that bike. A thing like that can ruin a guy's self-esteem. Permanently. Maybe you got to look at all the other... FKS-427G. These are all reserved for the people on the tour group. Thank God. Mopeds. Yeah. <laughs> VDG 945F. Okay. Maybe there's... HLK 841J. These are all reserved for the people on... Okay. Does this one have a license plate? It does. I wouldn't be caught dead on that bike. Okay, we can't read the license plate on this one. I wouldn't be caught dead on that. Curious. Man, I really want that bike. Okay, well that's interesting. I can read the plate license plates on these three bikes. I'm not gonna be able to charm my Okay. Maybe we go and lie to the other guests about like, they're assigned motorcycles or something? I've already looked at that stuff. Well, the fact that I could talk to Mosley about the passport was interesting. They're busy map gazing. No? Okay. What if I call Mosley down here? I could, but maybe I should wait until Jean's elsewhere. Ah, okay. So we... buzzard to bring Mosley downstairs. And then we go into his room and steal his passport so he can't get a uh, so he can't get a bike. Now that's what I miss about living alone.
pure, unrepentant sloth. Or Ooh, I don't want to see Mosley's briefs. Mosley must be up to something if he's carrying around his briefcase. I better get out of here before Mount Everest returns. Ah, oh, it's timed. Damn it. Let's head back downstairs. We'll do that again, I guess. Maybe I'm supposed to do it with the other guests and steal their passports? Uh... From the look of the floor, I seriously doubt there's anything in the closet. Okay. Please don't make me. I better get out of here before Mount Everest returns. All right. down here um gotta wait for him to walk away I yeah. could buzz that room but I don't think it would help me at the moment no I could buzz that room but I don't think it would help me at the moment I could buzz that room but I don't think it would help me at the moment uh that's my room and it's empty at the moment I could buzz that room, but I don't think it would help me at the moment. I could buzz that room, but okay. I don't think it would help me so at I the moment. So I can only buzz Mosley's room. Do I have anything in my inventory that would make me... What the heck am I supposed to be doing in Mosley's room? Hmm. Maybe if I go in there while he's in the room. That'll give us a hint. Now what is it, Knight? I can't think of anything to talk to Mose about at the moment. Um, passport? I don't think I want to show that to him. Ugh. That's what maids are for. Um, now that's what I miss about living alone. Pure, unrepentant sloth. So he's got like a jacket on the floor. Boxers. Now that's what I miss about living alone. Pure, unrepentant sloth. Hmm. So yeah, I don't know what I would do. Maybe... Grace has been working on our yeah, procedure. No. Shut up. Alright. Uh, maybe I would 
Nope, I... those don't work together. The tape recorder nope, somewhere those don't in work Mosley's together. room for some reason? Nope, those don't work together. I'm hoping for a voice line that's like... Nope, um, those don't work together. Like, I can't do that while Mosley's in the room. Nope, those don't work together. Hmm, no. There must be some other reason. See ya. Yeah, get out of here, you wanker. We, there must be some other reason we want to get into Mosley's room while he's gone. Don't know what it is yet. Is there still no one in here? Yeah, this is all still empty. Why would I want to go in there? You can't go in there. These ladies are still here. I'd rather use a payphone, thanks. Anything new in the guest book? Buccelli admits he came in late. Says he took a train from Naples. Yeah, okay. Maybe I want to talk to Mosley when he's down in the lobby, and that will have a different conversation thing for some reason. If Mosley ever comes down here. There's me coming up here, Trigger it. If I could get him to stop somewhere for a minute, I might be able to, well, to do some. Okay. If I could get him to stop somewhere for a minute, I might be able to, well, to do some. Okay. Oh, it's no good. He's already seen me. Okay. He looks confused, doesn't he? What a doofus. <laughs> oh, it's no good. He's already seen me. He looks confused, doesn't he? What a doofus. <laughs> uh, um, hmm. What could we get Mosley to stop for? We'd like drop a candy on the ground and he would stop to eat the candy. Or get him to do something. Like, why, why am I even trying to pull Mosley out of his room? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I can call Prince James again? Time to call Bess. I don't need to call Prince James right now. Okay. Well, I guess not. 
Um. Buzzers for the hotel rooms. Gee, talk about high tech. Okay, we'll call Mosley down again. We want him to stop somewhere. But I don't know why. off the screen. If I could get him to stop somewhere for a minute, I might be able to, well, to do some. Get him to stop somewhere for a minute. I don't think I want to show that to him. It's no good, he's already seen me. It's no good, he's already seen me. Maybe that's like, that's the hint then? We're supposed to like... Uh, because I picked up some scotch tape. Maybe I could, maybe I put like scotch tape on the ground and... So Mosley will, like, stop and try to take it off his shoe, and then I can pick his pocket? I'm already carrying it. No? Okay. It didn't really make much sense to me either. Uh, nope. Those don't work together. Can't go in there now. He's coming back. So why why the heck do I want if to? If I could get him to stop somewhere for a minute, I might be able to well, to do some. Hmm. Could I enlist the help of the British ladies, maybe? They're busy map gazing. No. Okay. What about... I don't think I want to show that to him. What about our friend here? I just want you to know, you're doing a great job. Oh, so many people forget to say the little words of kindness. Monsieur is too thoughtful. Don't mention it. Mm, I was thinking I could call his room and say there's a problem with his bill or something, but... Uh... There's no hotel, there's no room phones in this hotel. Mm, nothing here. There was nothing at the church, there was nothing at the museum, and there was nothing at the tower. So, have I got a do something with Mosley, it seems. I wouldn't want to get greedy about it. Hmm. So I probably need to use some kind of item on him. Maybe... Maple syrup packet? Not right now, thanks. Oh. So how do I get him to stop somewhere? That's the big question. Um, so we can do the buzzer thing. I don't even know what I'm trying to do by calling him down to the lobby.
Like, I can get into his room. If I could get him to stop somewhere for a minute, I might be able to, well, to do some. Okay. So we go back into Mosley's room. I don't think Mose would appreciate me poking around his bathroom, even yeah, if I could. I'm sure again. he wouldn't appreciate you. It's probably empty. Robin I think the hotel's blind. storing it here to get it out of the way. Besides, it doesn't look like the one on the train. Uh, I better get out of here before Mount Everest returns. Okay. So we get like two seconds. I gotta know exactly what I'm doing when I go in there. Hmm. What the heck would I... He did stop and get a candy. Maybe that's significant somehow? If I could get him to stop somewhere for a minute, I might be able to, well, to do some. It says hint, but there's no, no hint. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna check that uh, hint guide thing. Because I'm stumped. Mm. We're at, what, 2 to 4 p.m.? Uh, okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Talk to Big Out. Yeah, okay. Too proud. Mm hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. So, something with the mints, I guess. Can I do something I wouldn't to the want mints? to get greedy about it. Hey, free food. Let's call him down one more time. don't work together no um... okay there's Mosley so he comes down here and Oh, it's no good. He's already seen me. Grabs a candy. Flat. This place could use it. Nope. Those don't work together. He 
does walk I'm by. I'm already carrying it. He'd see me. Okay, so we can put the candy there, and then he'll... He'll see the candy and stop to grab the candy, and then we can pick his pocket. I could, but maybe I should wait until Jean's oh, elsewhere. Right. Yeah, yeah, let's wait for Jean to move away. Also, I wonder if we can steal the staff key from Jean. Maybe while he's doing something over here. I don't think I want to show that to him. Okay, we don't actually have that option. Uh... Okay, and... Pick his pocket. <laughs> oh, man, classic. All right, so we still Mosley's passport. Help me. <laughs> and now that we have Bosley's passport, what do I do? Do I impersonate Mosley and get the motorcycle that way? Nope, those don't work together. Good idea, but he'll never believe I'm Mosley. Not the way I look right now. Aha! Okay, so we gotta call him down to the, uh... Gotta call him down to stairs, and then... Wear Mosley's jacket, and for some reason... Because I'm wearing a hideous jacket, he'll believe I'm Mosley? Maybe... Let's take a look. A look at Mosley's passport. Maybe he's like wearing the passport. And some people think I give America a bad name. <laughs> yeah, he is wearing the jacket there. And some people think I give America a bad name. Yeah, got a wig. Yeah. <laughs> I could. But maybe I should wait until Jean's elsewhere. All right, let's wait for Jean to go away. Okay. All right, time to head back upstairs so we can rob poor Mosley blind. jacket <laughs> um, 
I better get out of here before Mount Everest returns. Yes, yeah, so it's been a long time animating that. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Let's, uh... I'm already carrying it. You can't wear it? I'm already carrying it. Maybe go outside and put it on? I'm already carrying it. Oh, I guess I should save, yeah. Good idea. What? Save for. <laughs> this is the weirdest noise when you save. Um, okay. I'm already carrying it. I'm already carrying it. Nope, those don't work together. Uh, okay. So why did I steal Mosley's jacket? <laughs> I mean, other than just robbing Mosley blind. It's Mosley's gold Caldwell Banker style blazer. He's had this since the Saturday Night Fever premiere. The coat's a start, but if I really want to do a Mosley look, I'm going to have to put some stuff with it. Some stuff with it. Uh-huh. So do I just have to rub Mosley blind like a bunch of times? Go steal his shoes? And that ugly shirt of his? Like how many times are gonna is Mosley gonna answer this buzzer and just come down into the lobby? Probably a lot of times. I think time. Mosley's got enough of a buzz going. Okay. So Mosley will no longer be fooled by the buzzer. I've seen enough of that room for the moment. It already has that O oh, de Mosley scent going. Right, so I need some other stuff. It's Wilkes's room. I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Hmm. Nope. Those don't work together. Do I have to go like go into the bathroom to look I'm like I'm already Rosa? carrying it. Yeah, well, wear it. Um, hmm. The coat's a start, but if I really want to do a Mosley look, I'm gonna have to put some stuff with it. Okay. Uh, how do I like use an item with an item in this game, or do you just not do that? Nope, those don't work together. No. Okay. Nope, those don't work together. Oh, there's a little. Okay. The coat's a start, but if I really no. want to do a Mosley look. I'm going to have to put some stuff with it. And some people think I give America a bad name. Mm. 
The coat's a start, but if I really want to do a Mosley look, oh, no, I'm going to have wanted. to put some stuff uh, with it. Okay. I'll use the passport when the time comes, but first I need to work some more on my outfit. Right. Um... Nope, those don't work together. Okay. Nope, those don't work together. No. Nope, those don't work together. Those don't work together. Uh. The coat's a start, but if I really want to do a. Right. Um. Nope, those don't work together. Hmm. Nope, those don't work together. Those don't work together. Uh. Nope, those don't work together. Hmm. Nope, those don't work together. My hands are clean, ma. Nope, those don't work together. Okay, um... That's Emilio's room. Hmm. That platform looks sturdy. I can't reach it too well from here. What am I going to do? Hmm. Ah, darn it. I've seen enough of that room for the moment. It already has that O oh, de Mosley scent going. Hmm. Can I sneak in there? It's locked. Good thing I don't need any toilet paper. Yeah, but it's grayed out. <laughs> uh... I'm already carrying it. Nope, those don't work together. Okay. Maybe it's the other way around I have to. Nope, those don't no. work together. Why would I want to draw on that? Okay. Mm. Why would I want to put syrup on that? I don't know, make Mose, Mosley's a slob so he'll, he'll look messy. Also, look at all this. Uh. Nope. Those don't work together. Those don't work together. Sure, go for it. Hmm. I was thinking I'd have to steal Mosley's shoes or something. Nope. Those don't work together. Do these They're ladies have anything to say? No. Syrup on your face? And... Okay. Can I put syrup on my face? I'm already carrying it. I'm already carrying it. I'm already carrying it. You don't seem to be able to use it like that. 
I was thinking of uh, combining the syrup with the jacket, like food stains or something. Maybe in a mirror, yeah. I just I haven't seen any mirrors. <laughs> um. Even in the bathroom, there wasn't a mirror. It's like they were intimidated by... Nope, those don't work together. Nope, those don't work together. Nope, those don't work together. Mm. I don't need any more syrup. We don't need any more syrup. We're still whispering away to each other. We have some marker. Mm, oh, that's my room. Uh, not my room. But unless... Unless I'm missing the mirror or something? They did not seem to be... yeah. Nope, those don't work together. Uh huh. Nope, those don't work together. Okay... Uh... Nope, those don't work together. That's better. What? The mustaches should help disguise the obvious disparity between his face and mine. <laughs> Unfortunately for Mose, things aren't quite that simple in real life. Okay. So we had to scribble in his passport. Uh. It's. <laughs> <laughs> so now now can I uh... I'm already carrying it <laughs> genius <laughs> how is that the solution oh boy alright well let's let's try it do I have all the pieces I need? I was thinking, like, change the name in the passport or something, but uh, this is better. Nope, those don't work together. Uh... I'm already carrying it. Do I... Nope. Those don't Combine work it together. Like that? No. Nope. Those don't work together. Oh my gosh. The coat's a start, but if I really want to do a Mosley look, I'm gonna have to put some stuff with it. Some stuff with it. Okay. Nope. Those don't work together. Am I just clicking in the wrong place? I don't think I want to show that to him. I'm not going to be able to charm my way into that Harley. I'll have to think of something else. I'm already carrying it. Okay. Nope. Those don't work together. Um... Do I do I now combine? Nope, those no. don't work together. Mm. Uh, nope, those no. don't work together. 
I need some more stuff. I take it. Scribble Why would I want to draw on my passport? <laughs> I'd give him more hire too, but I don't think that would help. Okay. Maybe. Nope. Those don't work together. Nope. Those no. don't work together. Nope. Those don't work together. No. Okay. Nope. Those don't work together. Maybe you go in there? Nope. Those no. don't work together. Nope. Those don't work together. Uh Nope. Those don't work together. I don't know why that nope, would work those together. Don't but work together. Okay. Obviously not. Um Oh the cat. Gotta go I gotta go harass that cat. Could get like tape on the cat or something. to get the black hairs. That's my guess. I need to somehow get the black hairs off the cat. Ah, I can't get up there. I kind of like that squeezing through the hole bit. I wonder if I could get him to do it again. Those don't work together. Maybe I could... Hmm, that's a tight squeeze, but the cat hasn't left any fur behind on those boards. He might, though, with a little help. Hmm. Nope, those don't work together. Okay, uh... Nope, those don't work together. No. Clearly not. Um... Throw the glass at the cat? Nope, those don't work together. Hmm. Uh, use the tape on the cat somehow. Nope, those don't work together. What if I... Like, couldn't I just, like, scare the cat off the wall? Ah, I can't get up there. He doesn't look real thrilled to see me. Hmm. Nope, those don't work together. Those don't work together. Nope, those don't work together. Uh. Hmm. Try the tape coat hanger? Nope, those don't work together. No. Um, I think I already tried the knife before. Let's try it again. Use the knife on the cat? Nope, 
No. Those don't work together. Um. Hmm. Wall, it doesn't make any sense. Flap a notebook at it? Nope. Those don't work together. And maybe I can... There's something I could put in the hole to convince the cat? Uh... <laughs> I do like dogs a lot more than cats. I, I mean, I like cats too. Mm. Well, there was cream in the hotel. Maybe we can get, um, like, a glass of milk or something from the hotel restaurant. And the cat will want the the cream. Nope, those don't work together. <sighs> Damn it. Nope, those don't work together. Can I just could take, take the cream and sugar, but it would get a bit messy. No? Okay. Uh it was a stupid idea, obviously. Um, Nothing much on the buffet at the moment. It's useless without actual coffee in it. Well, let's have a cup of coffee while we ponder this. Hmm. Maybe another one? Nope. Those don't work together. Hmm. You sure you can't just take a little cup of cream? Nope. Those don't work together. Yeah, okay. Uh, hmm. Now what? Have anything to say? No. How about you? They're busy map gazing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, can you take a candy? Can you take a candy? Would that work to distract the cat? I know from Jake they technically cats don't like sweet apparently but uh, do the game makers know this um, nope those don't work together well I mean if you don't even know about a thing you can't I like could it, can you? use syrup but that would get too messy. I'd get paints and splinters and shit in that. <laughs> nope. Those don't work together. I could use syrup, but that would get too messy. I'd get paints and splinters and shit in that. Uh huh. So I feel like I'm on the right track. Nope. Those don't work together. Maybe it's the tape I'm supposed to use on the on the gap in the door. Ah, damn it! Clicked off the screen. Nope, those don't work together. Am I clicking in the right spot? Okay, so we can put tape there.
That'll get some of the cat here, I guess. I kind of like that squeezing through the hole bit. I wonder if I could get him to do it again. Mm. Ah, I can't get up there. So he says I can't get up there. Mm. Throw a candy at it? Nope, those don't work together. No. Mm. Or maybe now I can get the cream. Maybe it's like, ah, now that you've put the tape so you can make the cat go through the, uh, or you can then gain the benefit, now Gabriel will collect the cream? Maybe? Oh, he can't. Nope, those okay. don't work together. Yeah, glass. A glass doesn't work with a with a fountain. Although, if that was the case, he probably would have said something like, uh, "I don't need cream at the moment." So he's put. We're probably gonna get another. Nope, nope those, those don't, don't work, work together. together. Okay. Obviously, very dumb idea. Uh, who would think to give cream to a cat? Mm. Right. Nope, those don't work together. <laughs> maybe, maybe there's like a rock or something and I have to pick it up or like do I need to lure something that find something to lure the cat into that hole no or pick something up to scare the cat away Sure. Lay it on me. I didn't try all the other stuff. Check around the back of the church. Like in the church itself or outside? Oh, I didn't think I could... Oh my god, I can go in there. Ah! Thy weakness. Screens I haven't seen yet. Maxine Lafitte. She died in the 70s. Can't say I blame her. Louis Hoffett. Kicked it in 1964. Alright. We're... Now we're cooking with gas. Alright. That's a big tomb. Surprised he didn't say nice too. Mm, nope, nothing there. I can't read it. The letters have worn away. Abigail passed on in 1893. Duke de Rays, 1700s. Hmm. 
It's Sonier's grave. Huh. Ici repose Mademoiselle Marie de Narnot. Died January 1953 at 85 years old. Nope, those don't work together. Uh... That must be Sonier himself. He's looked a little worse for wear. Hmm. Aha! It's for a worthy cause. Yoink. And what exactly would I do with that? Oh, I'll have some flowers. Arnaud lives there. He sure has a taste for the morbid. Okay. Yeah, I could bug him, but maybe I'll wait until he's out and about. Okay. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. I just assumed I couldn't go. Oh wait, no, that's the wrong way. This way. I assumed I couldn't go there because the uh, I couldn't move the the camera that way. Spritz the cat. Very effective way to get a cat to go somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, kitty. Um, we take the tape. It worked. Um, I'm already carrying it. Okay. Do I have to combine the hair with this? Hmm, possibly. But that fur isn't going to add a darn thing the way it is. Uh, is there more tape? No, tape's all gone. Hmm. So we got to do something else with the fur. Knight. Gabriel Knight. Uh... I might be able to do something with that black fur, but that's not it. Is there a... Nope. Those don't work together. Uh, nope. Those don't work together. Ah, the maple syrup. Yes. Oh, where did it... Oh, okay, there we go. It's crude, but it just might work. Okay. And then... It's close, but I gotta do something about the do. Something about the do. Nope. Those don't work together. <laughs> yeah, it's so gross. Nope, those uh, don't work together. What are we going to do about the do? Mm. <laughs> it's like cat hair stuck to your face with maple syrup. Uh... Get a hat? Oh, yeah! <clears throat> the hat! Like he said Mosley. It looks like something Mosley would wear. I suppose this hat might be useful after all. There we go. Um, okay. Now that's a Mosley outfit. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
So... If anybody sees me in this thing, I'll have to leave town immediately. Okay, so it looks like that's ready. No, I clicked off the screen. Yeah, that is pretty annoying. Um... Gabriel Knight 1 was good for that. If um, there were items that you picked up early on that um, you used way later in the game. If anybody sees me in this thing, I'll have to leave town immediately. Oh, cool. <clears throat> well, we had Wharf in... Nope, uh, those what? don't work together. No peeking. <laughs> Hi, is this where y'all rent mopeds? Oui. Uh, may I see your passport? <laughs> Ah, Monsieur Mosley. Yes, I have a reservation for you. One moment. You may have any bike in the lot, Monsieur. I can? Heck, I guess I'll take this big old hog hair. How much is that? One hundred francs a day. Looks like we got us a deal. There you are, Monsieur. <laughs> you pay when you return the bike. Golly. Thanks. But wait, the toll group gets my special treasure chest package. You get the binoculars and the shovel with that. Oh, great. <laughs> Best of luck, monsieur. If you strike it rich, you will remember poor little Bigo, will you not? That's right, I will not. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Whew, man, the things I'll do for a decent back. Oh, I better put this stuff back before Mosley has a conniption. Incredible. Uh, okay, did we did we put that stuff back? Looks like we did. <laughs> Poor Mosley. Passport's been scribbled in, and uh... <laughs> and he's not gonna be able to rent a bike. Do we get to leave town now? I'll go get the Harley. Oh boy! What is this? <laughs> oh, okay. If I hover over it, it tells me. Who's a train station? Chateau de Blanchefort. Rennes le Bain. Larry Chester's house. Well, let's go see Larry Chester. It's called him <laughs> Thank you, Goka. It's very, very kind of you to um, educate me on that. That must be Chester's car. Can I steal nope. it? Those don't work together. Nope, those don't work together. Uh... Hmm. Anything else out here? Go wander around his property. Where, where are you going, Knight? Heck, how are we going? Uh, 
This must be the place the Abbe told me about. Well, I guess we could go knock on the door. Introduce ourselves. Okay, we have to wait for Gabriel to very slowly walk over. It's the front door. Thank you, Gabriel. Hello. May I help you? I hope so. The name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. The Abbe at Renle Chateau recommended you as a Templar scholar. Did he know? Yep. He said, go talk to Larry Chester about the Templars. And then he said, and let me know what you think. Well, in that case, you'd better come in. <laughs> can I get you some tea? No, thank you. Now then, what can I do for you, Mr. Knight? Uh, okay, I guess we'll Madame talk to this Girard guy much. mentioned that the Holy Grail is sometimes linked to the Templars. It is, yes. In many of the early Grail legends, the knights were described as Templars, wearing the white mantle with a red cross. She said something about them actually finding the Grail in the Holy Land. Do you think that's possible? Yes, I do. So you think the Templars found the Holy Grail in Jerusalem and brought it back here? Let me put it this way. When the Templars were founded in 1118, there were nine knights. Their stated purpose was to protect pilgrims on the road. But for years, they did nothing of the sort. They were given quarters in the Temple of Solomon by King Baduin himself. There they stayed, and there they excavated for nine years. Then, in 1128, they changed completely. They returned to Europe hey, and began Mary, recruiting. Uh, banana. Their wealth and power grew on an unprecedented curve. So you... you do think they found the Grail? I think you're taking the legend of the Grail a little too literally. As with many things of the Middle Ages, it was often wiser and safer to speak in allegory. What's the Holy Grail an allegory of? I have a feeling. That will come to light sometime in the next decade. Okay. The Abbe mentioned that you're working on a book. Yes, I'm a historian. And you're writing about the Templars? No, oh, exactly. Now, this area is rich in Templar history. That's why I thought I'd come here to write. It's a kind of sabbatical, really. A sabbatical from what? I teach at a prep school in Manchester. Is there any reason to think the Templars left something here, specifically? It's not unknown that the Templars were digging in the region. They claimed they were mining the old Roman gold veins, but they hired only German workers who couldn't communicate with the locals. Naturally, that led to some speculation. I read hmm. in the museum that several of the Templar founders and a Grand Master were from this region. That's true. They also had several bases here and owned a great deal of land. The Chateau de Ceres, for example, was built on top of an old Templar fortress. Why were the Templars accused of heresy? There are many theories, but most scholars agree that King Philip was jealous of their authority. He wanted to confiscate their land and their reputed treasure. Unfortunately, the Templars themselves helped him make his case. They boasted of the secrets they'd learned in the Holy Land. Secrets? Mystical secrets from Kabbalists and Arabic astronomers. Of course, to Christendom, this was nothing but witchcraft. Those who confessed were released. Those who did not were burnt at the stake, including the last Grand Master, Jacques Molay. And they dissolved completely oh after that? The Knights Templar were no more, yes. Hmm. The okay. Templars have a lot of wealth, right? Gold, money, land. Absolutely. And that's one possibility for the alleged local treasure. 
The Templar stash? Yes, but... You don't think so? They had warning before their arrest. Perhaps some chose to believe that the church would ultimately protect them, but they had enough sense to move the treasure. To where? There are various locations. Ireland and Scotland have a great deal of Templar history, for example. If the Templars smuggled out their treasure, wouldn't that sort of blow the Grail theory? Perhaps there were some things that were too large or too, uh, shall we say, localized to take with them. No, they left something behind in the long dock. You can be sure of that, Mr. Knight. Interesting. Anything else? I don't have anything else to say to him. Okay. You look around this guy's house. That painting's about as colorful as Larry himself. Yep, he's a writer, all right. Only writers have this many books. It's like five books. I prefer an old manual myself. Yep, he's a writer, all right. Only writers have this many books. The guy's into maps. Hmm. The guy's into maps into maps. Uh, oh, even more books. Yep, he's a writer, all right. Only writers have this many books. Okay. Yep, he's a writer, all right. Only writers have this many books. It's a clock. An alarm clock. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Boy, can you imagine the exciting stuff in this guy's files? Uh... Yep, he's a writer, all right. Only writers <laughs> have this many books. Okay. Uh, no, we can't read it. Yep, he's okay, a no. writer, all right. all right. Yeah, I heard you the first, like, ten times. Uh... All right, well, let's thanks get out for of here. the info, Mr. Chester. You're most welcome. What is your interest in the Templars, if you don't mind my asking? No, I don't mind. Thanks again. <laughs> Classic. Um... All right, let's get the heck out of here. Chester's house. Well, let's head over to Chateau Blanchefort. Uh, is that the chateau? It's a large white rock. Oh, okay. No, it's a large white rock. Nope. Those don't work together. Oh, okay. There's a sign here. Uh, rock. Uh, Chateau de Blanchefort. Oh. We pulled off in a little parking lot. Oh, cool. is here doing something with that machine of his. Probably some high-tech version of a water dowser, and probably useless. <laughs> well, let's go snoop on Wilkes. See what the that Aussie is up to. Follow her instead. Let's 
see what she's doing. Apparently he's just driving around. She stopped at a place called Coom Sword. Well, let's go see what Coom Sword is. Oh, and there's a stone slab called the Dal the Coom Sword was discovered at this spot. This slab allegedly contained encoded messages related to the Ren's enigma, but it has since vanished. Coom mm -hmm. Sword still draws curious seekers hoping for more clues. Interesting. There were buildings here once. There's not a lot of growth going on in this area, is there? Mm. Well, let's see what she's up to. Or... Yeah, I guess we could go talk to her. Ooh, if I thought about her for too long, I'd be walking funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ah, she's the tour guide. Fancy meeting a girl like you in a place like this. <laughs> oh, hello, Monsieur Knight. That's in, are we? I am refreshing my memory for tomorrow. Tomorrow? You mean for that tour thing? So what's so special about this place? Mm, nothing. And anyway, you are not taking the tour, so why do you care? You got a point there. Mm. Not the best way to get on her good side. <laughs> now what is she up to? <laughs> hmm. There were buildings here once. There's not a lot of growth going on in this area, is there? Yeah, yeah she's having a she's having a smoke. Mm. Is there anything else around here? Guess not. Nothing else I can click on. Oh, we can go further up the path. What's around here? La Mall. I remember something about those parchments from the museum, but I don't see how it could relate to the case. This really? valley has been called the dead man on regional maps for centuries. Some authors have attempted to link it to the Ren Enigma because one of the parchment ciphers contains the phrase, He is there, dead. Huh. I have to go back for my bike. Okay. Boy, you can get the... You get lost in this. Uh, oh boy. Um, 
How do I get out of here? Oh my god. <laughs> nope. Uh... No? Where... Where the heck is the exit? This looks like a path. Uh, is this back to where I came from? Sign anywhere? No, that just says Le Mans. Is there... Ah, okay. This brought me back here. Okay. That really did not look like a path. Alright, so. Oh, what's she doing? Ooh, if I thought about her for too oh, long, gosh. I'd be walking funny. Yeah, she very quickly put away that, uh, whatever that device was she was holding. Alright, let's, uh, motorcycle our way out of here. Aha! Was it? What did it say? Five, uh, four, four to six p.m. I guess. Jeez. Okay. Um, what was that other place that guy had gone? L'Hermitage. Go see what we can. What we can find over here. This little cave has been identified as L'Hermitage on regional maps for centuries, but the origins of its ownership and usage remain obscure. Wow, that's fascinating. I'll have to write home about that one. <laughs> no thanks. The last time I went poking around in a cave, I ended up with hair on my palms. Nice. Beast Within callback. Um... Okay. Mm. All right, where's the exit? Oh no. How do I get out of here? There we go. Yeah, it was the references to the first game and the second game that made me want to uh, to try out the first one. So that was yeah, that's that valley. Let's go check out the Rennes les Bains. Must be trying to cash in on the treasure hunting crowd. 
Deader than a bub doe rally. <laughs> wow. Deader than a bub doe rally. That's now that's a reference. Um okay. Deader than a bub doe rally. Mm. Could go check out the tavern. Oh, some nice, some nice tunes in here. A lion-shaped map. Weird. Oh. Reminds me of the Hunt Club. <laughs> More beast I might have references. to use one of these eventually. But for now, I'll stick with my tape recorder and notebook. Thank you. How romantic. A guy could do well in a place like this. <laughs> Either they have really big darts here in France or that thing's been played to death. They got a travel theme happening here. Either Why they have they... really big darts here in France, or that thing's been played to death. What do you mean, why is the dartboard a bull eye? Either they have really big darts. Okay, you've yeah, heard enough of that. Alright, let's talk to this guy. Hey, how's business? Désolé, je ne parle pas anglais. Okay. Look at each other awkwardly. They got a travel theme happening here. All right. Well, I guess we have to come back here at some point with someone who speaks French. But that is not Gabriel Knight. Hmm. All right. I guess. I doubt go? there's anybody in there that can help with the case. Hmm. I may need to uh, actually know what's going on to do anything here. Chateau de Blanchefort. I haven't actually been there. that uh... Wilkes is here doing something with that machine of his probably some high-tech mm. version of a water dowser and probably useless uh, Chemin de Blanchefort alright well let's, let's head up to Chemin de Blanchefort oh the ladies are coming up this way Yeah, I don't really play darts, so I wouldn't know. Ah, I guess this is a chateau. Oh, and there's a... What was it? Eli? Elio? It's a diagram of the chateau that used to be here. Hmm, not much left of the place, is there? Hmm... Mount Cardew must be the big mountain across the road. Say hello. Good afternoon, Mr. Knight. Back at ya. You look comfortable. Ah, uh, yes, I'm enjoying the sun immensely, thank you. Hmm, okay. Anything else around here? Doesn't seem to be. Alright, well, let's get out of here, I guess. Or... Or not.
No? Is the way down over here somewhere? Could have sworn I came up this way. No? Ah, there it is. That's a nice looking mountain. Nice mountain. If you're into that nature stuff. Um Okay. Can we can I go? No? Oh no. I've lost the exit. Ah, there it is. Mm -hmm. Is that back down to the motorcycle? Nope, that's back down to the house. This way, maybe? Man, this is like a um, open world adventure game. Ah, there's the car. I wonder if we can go ask, uh... I don't have my hiking boots on. Okay, we need our hiking boots, apparently. Oh. Okay, let's follow the ladies. See where they're going. They're just driving around the valley. Forget that. <laughs> mm. Oh, maybe there's people in the hotel we could have a chat with. Or is there I think I better avoid him for a while. You can't be that stupid. <laughs> Let's go into the hotel. I get the feeling this is a very long game. Because we're at... Yeah, I'm not even... Yikes. I'm like one ninth of the way in. Uh, almost five hours in. Anyone in, uh, in the restaurant? Nope. Wonder if Mosley's still hanging around. I'm not sure what I'd say if he came to the door. Okay, so we don't have anything to talk to Mosley about. Hmm. So in that case, I guess we go back to the motorcycle.
Well, what else would I check out? I guess we could go check out the train station. See if like the station guy is around. Wow, classic chassis. Go interrogate this guy. He looks real little reputable. Hi there. Oh, it's you. Haha. <laughs> you are feeling better, I hope. That was a nasty bump you had on the head last night. Sure. Um, you took me over to Ren Le Chateau, right? Yes, uh, you must remember the car. You said it had a smell like the, uh, garlic. <laughs> Probably my dog, Fifi. He loves to eat the garlic, and then he... <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for jogging my memory. <laughs> oh, it's my pleasure, monsieur. <laughs> you were here last night. Did you see two men with a trunk come out of that station just before I did? Yes, but they didn't need a ride from me. No, what they do? They drove off, monsieur. Yes, but how? Did they have a car parked here? Uh -huh. No. <laughs> well, yes, I guess it was parked uh, at the time. Could you tell me exactly what you saw? Two men with a trunk came out of the train station and... Mm, I'm having a hard time remembering. <laughs> I get the feeling he's holding out on me. He must want something. Alright, let's bribe him. My memory needs more help than that, monsieur. <laughs> <laughs> Très bien. Now I tell you. There was waiting a car, monsieur. Maybe for an hour. Then the two men came out, they get in the car, and voila. What kind of car? Very nice, very fine. It does not smell like the garlic, this car. What was the make? It was a sedan. As to the make, uh, <laughs> my eyes are not so good. <sighs> you want more money? No, monsieur. My eyes are really not so good. <laughs> oh. Well, what about color? Black. Very black, this car. And the driver? Um, not old. Well-dressed. Oh, and the trunk. Like it was the Queen's China they handled that trunk. Into the back seat it went, not even in the boot. Hmm. One more thing. Which way did they go? The same way I took you, monsieur. Toward Rennes le Chateau. Interesting. Okay, anything else? I don't think I'm going to get any more out of that guy. <laughs> that guy. Uh... I vaguely remember this platform from my arrival. I was pretty out of it. Hmm. Should we go inside? Train station person? Oh, we can hear the trains. Hello there, mademoiselle. Bonjour. Where is it you wish to go? I'm already there. <laughs> I oh, want to ask you a few questions. Uh, oui. All right. Do you have a record of a man getting off the Naples train last night? There was no train from Naples last night, monsieur. We have very limited service. Is that so? What trains did come in? We have a set schedule, monsieur. The trains are listed on the board. <laughs> what other trains had passengers disembark last night? Um, a moment. There was one passenger from Rome, none from Madrid, two from Nice earlier in the day. 
Interesting. Great, thanks. Did two men with a trunk come in from Paris yesterday evening? We had three arrivals last night from Paris, but uh, I have no idea who they were. Do you know where they went? <laughs> Me no. We only keep a record of the number who arrive, and only that because there is some talk of cutting service to Guiza. We have few visitors, and most of them come by auto. Hmm. That's where they sell tickets. <laughs> Thanks, Gabe. Thanks for the help. All right. Um... Well, we've learned some interesting uh, news. That way leads to the trains. I'm not taking one that I know of. Hmm. Looks like someone was a bit too eager to flick. Okay. Ashtrays are to the French what car seats are to Americans. I have no idea what that means. Uh, let's check out the train schedule. It's a list of arrivals and departures. Yesterday was Wednesday, so the only trains that came in were from Nice, Paris, Madrid, and Rome. There is no Naples route. In other words, Buccelli is lying. Either he didn't take the train at all, or he didn't take the one he says he took. Hmm. <clears throat> well, I mean, wouldn't the train from Naples go to Rome first? That kind of makes sense. Ashtrays are to the French what car seats are to Americans. All right. Well, we've gained some interesting information. I'm not sure what all these buildings are, but I don't think they're connected to the station. Hmm. I doubt there's anybody in there that can help with the case. Mm. All right, I guess we head back to town. Car seats are bigger. There are a lot of car seats in. <laughs> yeah, I really don't know what he's what he's getting at. It's probably meant to be some kind of joke about the French like to smoke a lot. Um... Oh yeah, that um, that guy in the church wanted me to tell him how the uh, how my chat with uh, what's his face went. So why don't we go do that? He's not here, though. I don't hear anything. I don't think he's in there. Bummer. Uh, well, maybe we could go snoop around his house while... by going around back. Yeah, I could bug him, but maybe I'll wait until he's out and about. All right. Well, fine. Um. All right. Well, I guess we'll leave. Hmm. Actually, I'm getting mighty hungry, so I'll call the stream here. Uh. I kind of wanted to go until we finished the whole day, but uh, we can go in about five hours, and uh, it's about time I make myself some supper. So we'll, we'll save here, call this save six, and we'll continue this some other times. Yeah, they're long days. Uh...
Let's see if there's anybody. Oh, no, we don't need to hear me. Um, who's streaming out there? Uh, friendly streaming this war of mine. Mm. Lucky streaming. Why don't we go say hi to Lucky? Lucky 1x. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you all next time. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Anything to win.